And we say good morning to you. We are live again at Champion Chevrolet on the Tom Taylor Sports Show on this Thursday, February the 15th. Hope you survived Valentine's Day 2018. Got, if you're a Valentine, gave whatever you wanted and got whatever you wanted for Valentine's Day. So we're back ready to go. We've got a full show, lots to talk about. Got NFL, we've got college basketball, we've got Major League Baseball news. Of course, NASCAR, the Can Am duels tonight at Daytona International Speedway to set the rest of the field for the 60th annual running of the Great American Race, the Daytona 500 coming up on Sunday, as you know, but now, as we've told you all week long, Alex Bowman, the 88 Dale Earnhardt Jr. Nationwide Chevrolet on the pole, Denny Hamlin right beside him, the FedEx Toyota. The rest of the field will be determined tonight, and so we'll have that for you a little bit later on talking about that. We've got some guests lined up, first time, actually not a first time, but a second time guest, Chuck Babb. We talk about the second season in high school basketball, and last night a team that has had a disastrous regular season in terms of wins and losses threw that out the window and won and won big last night to eliminate a team that went to the state tournament a year ago in the Solvonese Patriots of John Dyer. So Chuck Babb will join us later in the show talking about the great win by his ball club, and we'll run down all the high school basketball tournament action from last night, what's going on today as well. As we said, we also got uh, updated stories about some wrestlers from Science Hill and Dobbins Minute heading off to the state wrestling tournament, which is very exciting. College basketball top 25, uh, what, two upsets last night. We'll tell you all about that. And, of course, who's playing tonight? The NBA, the National Hockey League. Have all that for you straight ahead here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Show number 689. We always start our show by dedicating it to the man who hung on the cross. And our verse today says, out of the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, Never forget my words. Do not depart from my wisdom, for it will protect you and watch over you. My wisdom and understanding will honor you and present you with a crown of splendor. How about that? That's the verse of the day to get it started out of the book of Proverbs 4, 5 through 9. So lots to talk about. We're here at Champion Chevrolet. Later in the show, Carmichael's going to join us. Got another uh, guest lined up and ready to go. We've got to confirm him. He's been very, very busy, but uh, he is telling us he's going to be on the show, and that's a good thing, but we'll wait to make sure. And then, of course, Andy Dietrich is back in the saddle, co-owner of Champion Chevrolet. We'll talk about what's going on here and what happened yesterday at the Johnson City Chamber breakfast that happened at Sam's Club. And the next one coming up is going to be at the Jonesboro, Jonesboro Storytelling uh, Festival. Not the festival, but the Jonesboro, Jonesboro Storytelling Center coming up in March. And we'll talk more about that with him as well as he's the president of uh, this year, the uh, Johnson City Chamber of Commerce. So lots going on in sports. That's why we're here. We'll get it all started again. If you watch the show, be sure and like it and share it. We would appreciate that. And so we want to get it started with one of our great sponsors. And here's our buddy Phil Pipkin from Phil's Dream Pit here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Back with my buddy Phil. Phil's Dream Pit again, the quest for perfect barbecue. And tell us about, big guy, tell us about the Dream Pack, the Phil's Dream Pit. So we, we offer these Dream Packs. That, uh, we offer them in, in uh, equal numbers. So like uh, 4, 8, 12, 20, 24. Uh, I mean, we can do them as much as 100 people or more. We've had them go out for 300 people. But the Dream Packs are, you, it comes with the pork, the sauce, the buns and three sides so you could do like beans potato salad and coleslaw uh, the price ends up costing you a little under seven dollars a person which is an uh, unbelievable value around here well obviously springs right around the corner you're looking at people on the move going to ball games and little league games and just being on the move so this is a great way to come in and get a dream pack and if you got an event in the backyard a cookout or whatever you got going on this is a great way to feed the gang right it, it is and uh, another benefit of it is sometimes people are having rehearsal dinners and they'll have uh, volunteers from their church that will serve so this is a very inexpensive uh, way to to hold your calls down for your rehearsal dinner or your wedding uh, we, we do offer full service catering. Uh, gets a little, the price goes up a little bit to have our whole crew out there, but uh, you could do the value packs too and, and uh, have folks from church serve it and cost you under $7 a person. Let's squeeze in too before I let him go meat by the pound. So, again, another event coming up that you just want to come out here and buy this great meat by the pound, you do that as well. I do. Uh, we offer the pulled chicken, we offer brisket by the pound, uh, pork by the pound, chicken salad by the pound. Uh, the chicken salad uh, kind of give us a heads up if you're going to want uh, four or five pounds of that because we don't we try not to make that much of it at once. And all this on the website. And we yes, Phil's Yep. Uh, it has our catering menu. It also has our our just our in-house menu and the value packs and 
It's an exactly. awesome deal. Oh, absolutely. And of course, they're physically located right off Interstate 26, the Eastern uh, Eastern Star exit. So, Phil's Dream Pit, Phil's Dream Pit .com, the Quest for Perfect Barbecue, one of our great sponsors here on the uh, on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. That's our great sponsor again, Phil Pipkin of Phil's Dream Pit. Again, the quest for perfect barbecue. We appreciate that very much. Quick break. we got a big breaking story about college basketball. The FBI is in on not one, not two, but three dozen Division I football basketball programs involving mm, some violations the feds are involved in. So this may be uh, a, what is going to be a huge, huge situation involving college basketball, AAU, and there's a lot going on with that. So we'll take a break, come back, and we'll do our first segment with basketball and we'll take a look at the nba we'll take a look at the top 25 college basketball and of course we'll take a look at high school basketball again a team that only had six wins under their belt going into the tournament pulls off the upset last night we'll talk about that as well so all that coming up next in our first segment in basketball but first a timeout we're live at champion chevrolet the number one chevy dealer in the state nobody sells more chevrolets in tennessee from Mountain City to Memphis and this dealership right here, 50-some dealerships in Tennessee, in Memphis and Knoxville and, and Nashville and Chattanooga, and nobody sells more Chevys and more bow ties than this dealership right here on the Bristol Motor Mile Johnson City of Champion Chevrolet. Quick break, right back. We'll talk lots of hoops. Again, our first segment here at Champion Chevrolet, show number 689 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City is starting off 2018 with monster savings on over 350 new Chevrolets to choose from. Take advantage of these awesome savings for a limited time only. Silverado Crew and Double Caps, 10,000 off MSRP, 17 Spark, 11,995, 18 Equinox, 19,995, 17 Traverse, 28,995, 17 Corvette, 20% off MSRP. Shop us online 24-7 and don't forget our Saturday parts and service hours. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? The savings continue the month of February at Max Meta Smart in Kingsport. All natural factors, 20% off. Folic acid, CoQ10, apple cider vinegar capsules, B12, they're all on sale. Anything natural factors, all 20% off the month of February at Max Meta Smart. No coupons, no limits. It's a flat 20% off anytime you buy natural factors in February at Max Meta Smart. Max Meta Smart, Center Street, Kingsport. Natural factors, 20% off in February. Make tracks to Max Medicine Mart. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. And back with the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Thanks for being with us. Take a look again. First off at basketball, the college basketball, as we told you before the break. The two-year, hello, by the way, to Phil Vitato. Phil says, great name for a barbecue place. Phil's Dream Pit, Eastern Star Exit of Interstate 26. It'll set you free. Mm, good stuff. Now they got Paul Chicken. Hello to Renee McNeil and Chris Barber and Lisa Lale. Good morning to you, young lady. So 
Appreciate you kids very much. We're live here at Champion Chevrolet. Two-year FBI probe into corruption in the college basketball could result in more than just the charges already levied against the coaches and individuals implicated last fall. According to a report from ESPN, the ongoing FBI investigation that continues to cast a cloud over the sport could result in potential NCAA penalties for as many as three dozen Division I programs, several of which reportedly could be upper-tier programs. ESPN says it's not the mid-majors, it's the big boys. And so, uh, again, this morning, attorneys representing former Adidas executive James Gatto and Merle Code and former sports agent Christian Dawkins are expected to argue in U.S. history court in New York that their clients are accused of doing funneling money from Adidas to recruits in an effort to land players at Adidas-sponsored schools does not constitute a federal crime. Okay, what's the old saying where there's smoke, there's fire, so stay tuned. And so the FBI is in on this one, and it may, again, blow this thing up into as many as three dozen Division One programs. And these are some of the big boys that are uh, maybe get caught with their hand in the, in the old till, as they say. So we'll have to see, but that is ongoing for sure. Men's college basketball last night, two upsets. Number three, Villanova goes into Providence, and the Friars knock them off. 76 to 71. Nova now 23 and 3 in the country, and the uh, record I should say number three in the country. Providence improves to 17 and 9 on the year. Also in overtime, Florida State in Tallahassee knocks off 11th ranked Clemson. Final there 81 to 79 in overtime. Seminoles now 18 and 8. Clemson falls again 11th in the country to 20 and 5 on the year. Other games: 22nd ranked Michigan, a 15 point win at home over Iowa. Wolverines now 21 and 7 on the year. Also, you have 12th-ranked Duke. The Blue Devils take on the Hokies of Virginia Tech in Durham and win it by 22. Hokies now, they fall to 18-8. and eight. Duke improves 12th in the country to 21-5. and five. They beat them by a 74-52 to 52 count. Again, last night at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Fourth-ranked Xavier, the Musketeers, go to 24-3. 12-point win over Seton Hall in Cincinnati. Tenth-ranked Auburn pins the fourth straight loss in John Calipari's Kentucky Wildcats. They are looking for an identity. They're now 17-9 of the Wildcats. Auburn, tenth in the country, now 23-3 for Bruce Pearl. Beat them by 10 in Auburn, 76-66. And Nevada gets a big win last night at Boise State to make their record now 22-5 on the season. Three good ones tonight among the top 25 college basketball games. Fifth-ranked Cincinnati, the Bearcats at 23 and 2. They'll travel to Houston to battle the Cougars tonight at 19 and 5. Eighth-ranked Ohio State, the Buckeyes will go to Penn State trap game, 22 and 5 for the Buckeyes. Penn State will be an 18 and 9 team when they take the four tonight. And 17th-ranked Arizona plays their cross-state rival Arizona State. Arizona 17th in the country at 20 and 6. Arizona State at 25th in the country at 19 and 6. They'll play that one. At Arizona State coming up later tonight. Also, sixth ranked Purdue at 23 and 4. The Boilermakers go to Wisconsin tonight. Wisconsin, a 11 and 16 team. You have Temple and Wichita State, 19th ranked Shockers, the 19 and 5 hosting Temple tonight and Wichita. And also, ninth ranked Gonzaga, the Bulldogs at 23 and 4, playing host to LMU as an 8 and 17 team. And also, St. Mary's tonight, 15th ranked St. Mary's will go to. San Francisco to battle the Dons. St. Mary's at 24-3 on the season. That's your men's top 25 college basketball. NBA last night, let's see who won. It was Philadelphia, two-point win at home over Miami. Charlotte goes into Orlando, beats the Magic by two. Detroit, six-point win at home against the Atlanta Hawks. Also last night, Washington runs their record now to 33-24 and with a five-point win in New York against the Knicks. Indiana on the road, a five-point win at Brooklyn. The Boston Celtics lose again at home. This time the Clippers got them, 129 to 119. Celtics now 40 and 19 on the season. Bulls at home with a 24-point loss. Toronto got them and got them pretty good. Raptors are one of the best teams in the NBA. They're 41 and 16. They beat the Bulls in Chicago by 24. New Orleans a 22-point win at home over the Lakers. Houston in Texas runs their record of 44 and 13 with a nine-point win over Sacramento. Oklahoma City seven-point win on the road in Memphis. Utah Jazz a 10-point win last night against Phoenix. And Golden State goes to Portland and loses last night. Again, the defending world champion Golden State Warriors on the road at Portland, losing by six, 123 to 117. It puts their mark now at 44 and 14 on the season for the Golden State Warriors. Tonight, we've got, what, two games on tap, Denver, Milwaukee, and the Lakers of Minnesota. I'd like you to have more than that. Let's see if I can, uh, yep, let's see. Nope, that's it. Denver, Milwaukee, and the Lakers at Minnesota 
And that's your NBA for tonight on this Thursday, February the 15th, 2018. Chuck Babb joins at the bottom of the hour, the head coach of the Happy Valley Warriors. Let's take a look at high school basketball and tournament time. First off in a regular season, or actually the uh, District 1, I'm sorry, District 2 AAA tournament. South Doyle beat Morristown West 63-44 to last night. District 1 AAA, Daniel Boone goes into overtime to knock off the Cherokee Chiefs 71-66. to Playing that one, of course, in Crockett High School, as we told you. District 1 AA tournament, big upset. Happy Valley wins it 50-49. to Happy Valley had only six wins all season for Chuck Babb. Goes in and knocks off John Dyer's state tournament team a year ago. Happy Valley wins it 50-49. to Here's your first big upset of the tournament. Uh, in Southwest Virginia, the Cumberland District Tournament Boys Action, J.I. Burton beat Rye Cove by 9, 52-43. Eastside over Thomas Walker by 23 at 79-56. to Also last night, Virginia High, the Bearcats beat Marion by 3, and Lebanon with a blowout win of 48 points over Tazewell, 79-31. to Tonight, basketball in Southwest Virginia. Everything's there tonight. You have the Hoagie Hege District Tournament consolation game. Patrick Henry tugs on Holston at 7-15. At the Mountain, Mountain 7 District Tournament at Gate City tonight, it'll be packed out. Y Central and Union at 6 o'clock at Gate City Middle School. And, of course, Mike McClung and the Gate City Blue Devils take on Abington at 7.30 tonight. That'll be a barn burner. Of course, you better get there early to watch that one. The doubleheader at 6 and 7.30 at Gate City Middle School tonight for boys tournament play in southwest Virginia. On the girls' side last night, Dobbins been an all-over volunteer in the AAA tournament. Lady Indians defeat volunteers 69-27, to beat them by 42 last night. Sullivan South punches their ticket to the region. Lady Rebels under Torrey Hill, their first trip since 2014 to postseason play. They put the hammer on Happy Valley 42-27 in the AA girls' tournament in Elizabethan. In Virginia, Honeaker over Twin Valley 81-56. Mountain 7 District Tournament in Virginia. Ridgeview's ladies over Abington by five. Y Central's ladies all over Union by 30. I'm sorry, by 23 at 45 to 22. Tonight, double A tournament happening. It'll be again at six o'clock. Unicoi County's Lady Blue Devils and Johnson County at six. Unicoi County the third seed at 18 and eight. Johnson County's Lady Longhorns the sixth seed at six and 19. And then tonight also the fourth seed Sullivan East Lady Patriots at 14 and 17 taking on uh, the number five. Seated Elizabeth and Lady Cyclones at 7:30. Elizabeth and comes in at 9 and 18 on the season. In the Southwest District Tournament Class Two at Virginia High tonight, the semifinals: the Lady Bearcats of Virginia High taking on Marion. That's a six o'clock tip-off tonight. That's happening again at Virginia High School in Bristol. That's a look at your basketball segment here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show on this Thursday, February the 15th, 2018. We are live again at Champion Chevrolet. Don't forget Sprint. Talking to the boys yesterday at Sprint, got those great deals going on. A Samsung promo. You can get an S8, brand new S8 for $8 a month now at Sprint, North Rhone Street, right there in front of Longhorn Steakhouse. Also, the S8 Plus, $12 a month. And the S8, I'm sorry, the Note 8, $18 a month extra. And that's it for a brand new Note 8 for the uh, S8 Plus, only $12 a month, and just for the S8, $8 more a month on your bill, and that's it for a brand spanking new Samsung. What's a screaming deal? It was 50% off last month, even better this month. Again, Samsung S8 for $8 a month, S8 Plus for $12 a month, and the Note 8 for $18 a month. And of course, you get the free LG pad. we got one of those right here we're using, and that's the LG 6 pad. Uh, that's to all customers, again, at Sprint on North Rhone Street and right there in front of Longhorn Steakhouse. Also, the iPhone 10 brand spanking new. Can't keep them in stock for $30 a month for new activations. That's $11.67 off. You multiply that, multiply that rather, about 12 months, and savings are saving. It's a good deal. Also, an iPhone 8 lease. Lease one, get one. So lots of different ways you can save. And of course, the biggie right now at Sprint. Unlimited Freedom, five lines for $100 with Hulu for free with five free Moto E4 phones to boot. So you get five lines for 100 bucks, and also five free Moto E4 phones to go along with it, and also Hulu for free as well. So lots of different ways for you to save at Sprint. And don't forget, they are buying out the uh, competition's contract up to $650 on your phone. And that would be, of course, AT&T and T-Mobile and what's the other one, I guess? Verizon, the big V. So they are buying out 
other companies' phones, and that is a regular occurrence, again, at the Sprint Store on North Rhone Street there in front of Longhorn Steakhouse. So good stuff. Quick break. We'll be right back. Take a look at college football. Got some news happening there. Got NASCAR coming up a little bit later in the show. Also, a young man who's out on the Tennessee coaching staff. He's been replaced, and we'll tell you who that is and why. All that coming up again right after this time out. We're live at Champion Chevrolet. We've got Andy Dietrich going to join us coming up here in a few minutes, the co-owner of Champion Chevrolet. Also, Chuck Babb will join us coming up next, the head coach of the Happy Valley Warriors, and talk about how his team, again, rose up out of the ashes, a 6-21 six and what six and 21 team going into the tournament and pulls off the upset. And so that's the old never say never and the old overworked cliche that the postseason is always the second season. And as the late coach Buck Van Hush used to tell me time and time and time again, it's not where you start, it's how you finish. And so Happy Valley punching their ticket to the regional with a big win last night over the Sullivan East Patriots of veteran coach John Dyer. Quick break, we'll be right back. We're live at Champion Chevrolet, show number 689. Tomorrow we'll be at Food City and Boone's Creek for the big throwback sale. We'll be there. Monday we'll be at Mike's Medicine Mart. Tuesday, can't remember where we're going to be. Wednesday we'll be at Chick-fil-A. Next Thursday, right back here at Champion. And next Friday we're going to be at Freddy's. Oh, yeah, Freddy's right there in front of Food City, State of Franklin and Johnson City, where they got some serious good custard going on. Quick break. We'll go to Chuck Babb. Talk to him next here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City is starting off 2018 with monster savings on over 350 new Chevrolets to choose from. Take advantage of these awesome savings for a limited time only. Silverado Crew and Double Caps, 10,000 off MSRP, 17 Spark, 11,995, 18 Equinox, 19,995, 17 Traverse, 28,995, 17 Corvette, 20% off MSRP. Shop us online 24-7 and don't forget our Saturday parts and service hours. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City where we leave you asking, how do they do that? The savings continue the month of February at Max Modus Martin Kingsport. All natural factors, 20% off. Folic acid, CoQ10, apple cider vinegar capsules, B12, they're all on sale. Anything natural factors, all 20% off the month of February at Max Modus Mart. No coupons, no limits. It's a flat 20% off anytime you buy natural factors in February at Max Modus Mart. Max Modus Mart Center Street Kingsport, natural factors, 20% off in February. Make tracks to Max Medicine Mart. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today.
Back on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, let's go to the phone. He's there. The old adage, you never say never. It's not, as the late Buck Van Huss would say, it's not how you finish. It's not where you start. It's how you finish. It's a prime example. Chuck Babb joins us, the head basketball coach of the boys' team at Happy Valley High School. And Coach, first off, good morning to you. Thanks for your time and a big win last night. Congratulations. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, it was a little rough going at times, but, uh, you know, we played pretty good defense last night and uh, helped each other out. But we executed offensively pretty good last night. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing, we, we were able to control the pace, pace of the, the game and, uh, you know, kind of make East play in the half court a little bit because they're pretty good when, when they get to play in the full court. So run us through the regular season. Am I right in saying you lost both games in the regular season home and away to Sullivan East? Is that correct? Yeah, I think we lost uh, at our place by four, uh, by 10 and at their place by 27, and, which was just this past Friday, so that was less than a week ago. Uh, you know, big our kids just had great effort last night, and theirs did too. Uh, but we were able to execute and, and kind of hone in on some things that we've been trying to get them to understand. And, uh, you know, sometimes sometimes you just got to trust each other and uh, we talked before the game last night about the game and and uh the last time last time we were sitting at 0 and 12 in the conference and heading into a district tournament it was at elizabeth and then the last time we were in that situation we won and uh we beat unicoi uh back in 2013 in the same situation and i think they had been to the regional tournament i think 14 straight years uh before that night so uh you know, it was a great win for our program. Uh, I'm not even sure that we've beaten East uh, since they've joined our conference. Uh, I think the last time we beat them was in the Arby's Classic years ago when Coach Bayless got his 900th win. Uh, but, you know, John's, John's hard to beat. Obviously, and of course, Happy Valley moves on out of play Saturday against the winner of Johnson County and Sullivan Central. Am I right in saying you punched your ticket to the regional next week? Is that correct? You do, you do, and you pick your poison with those two teams. They're both good. <laughs> Absolutely, but you're still playing. So tell me some of the kids last night that did well for you individually for Happy Valley. But Jake, Jake Cersey led us in the scoring last night. Uh, probably the best game of his career. Uh, not just necessarily from the scoring standpoint, but he, he just really ran the show for us last night. Which we, what we've really been looking for him to do, uh, you know, kept, kept turnover, 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 totals down and uh and and started getting the, his teammates involved with assists early and and then uh the ball found him in good situations to shoot you know he hit, i think he hit three threes for us last night and made some key free throws down the stretch last night uh and you know the one time where they took the lead there in the fourth quarter on a on a three they hit us it was tied and they hit a three you know jake went down and and made a three the old-fashioned way, and, and made the made the free throw. So he really he really did a good job. Uh, you know, Bryce uh, is is our post. Uh, he had 15. He had a double double last night. He had 15 points. Not sure how many exactly how many rebounds. And then Braden Braden chipped in about seven or eight points last night. But he he did an amazing job uh, on the point guard there, uh, Davis. I believe his name is and. Uh, he really hurt us in the first two games, and, and we, Braden did a really good job kind of holding him down. We're not going to shut him down, but kind of held him down uh, to where he just didn't go nuts on us. <laughs> well, they didn't go nuts. We're talking to Coach Babb again from Happy Valley. You see on the screen here. So you've been at this a long time. How big a win is this for you last night personally for Chuck Babb? Well, it was huge, you know. Mm-hmm. I, you know, before you quit one of these days, you want to be able to say you beat about everybody. And that's <laughs> my first win against John Dyer. Uh, like I said, it, John's hard to beat. And, you know, we've been close a couple times and uh, here or there and, and just uh, had a hard time feeling the deal. But uh, John, he's a class act. You know, I really appreciated the comments he made after the game and and uh, even to the press. And, and uh, you know, even this morning we talked. So... Uh, he's just he's just a classy guy, a good Christian guy, and, and uh, you know there's no there's no reason they have the success they do. Again, we're talking to Coach Babb. Before I let you 
Talking to Coach Babb before I let you go, uh, again, fuse into the fact or kind of weave in that you're big also in the Fellowship of Christian Athletes here at Happy Valley. Tell us about that and how you kind of implement that or best you can to your basketball program. Well, you know, uh, we encourage our guys if they want to to join those things, and, and uh, you know, we can't can't uh, force them to or anything like that, but uh, it's certainly a voluntary thing. But, but uh, you know, anytime you can, you can get uh, the word about Jesus Christ out and, and uh, you know, just, just minister to people and, and help them wherever they're at, in a school setting or uh, anywhere, uh, that, that's, our, that's our mission as Christians. And, uh, you know, to go out into all the world and, you know, preach, teach, and baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. So uh, that's, that's a great thing. You know, FCA is a wonderful ministry. It's been around many, many, many years. Uh, you know, we've got some great uh, regional leaders in Steve McCauley, and, and uh, we have good good leadership here with uh, uh, Frank Flo, and we've got some great great student leaders that uh, really just run the show. We're just, we we kind of just sit back and watch. It's, it's student-led, but uh, we got really good leaders on that, too. Met Frank Flo last week. I call him Barry White. Man, he's got the pipes. he got that big, deep voice, and I call him Barry White. He just grinned. He liked that. So I met Frank last week, and, and uh, he's a great guy doing great things here at, at Happy Valley, as you are as well. Coach, congratulations. You're in the regional. We will see you Saturday evening. I think I've got your game on the PA, and so I'm looking forward to doing that. So we'll see you against either Johnson County or Sullivan Central, uh, the early game on Saturday at John Treadway Gymnasium in Elizabeth. And, Coach, congratulations, and I'll see you then, all right? Hey, I, I appreciate it. I, I think last time you were doing one of, one of the games at the tournament, I was helping you, so I'm glad we're coaching instead of helping <laughs> That's exactly right. Coach, great job. I'll see you Saturday, all right? Thank you, Tom. Yes, sir. Good man right there. Chuck Babb, appreciate him very much. The head basketball coach of the Happy Valley Warriors again. Who would have thunk it? And you never say never. This team had gotten, you heard him, got beat by 10 and by 27 by Sullivan East in the regular season. Played him last night and beat him 50-49. to 49. So, big win for Chuck Babb. A tough loss, obviously, for Sullivan East. That puts him out of the, uh, the season. Season's over. And so, uh, again, there'll be a big night tomorrow night in that double-A tournament. It'll be Johnson County and Sullivan Central in that first game at 6 o'clock. Then at 7.30 tomorrow night, Elizabeth and Texas on Sullivan South. Those winners will move on, and the losers will be eliminated. In fact, the winners will move on and guaranteed a, a spot in the regional next week at Chucky Doak High School in the double-A tournament. We are, hello, Jerry McNeil, watching in Elizabeth. And saw Jerry last night. Oh, boy, can put down a pork chop. Now, I'm here to tell you, we had... Uh, pork chops at the church last night with Valentine's dinner put on with the youth and uh, salad and rolls and pork chops and he was, man, I tell you what, wasn't much talking, a whole lot of knivin' and forking moving around because he was slicing, dicing that pork chop, getting after it pretty good and that tater and all the good food we had there last night so hello to Jerry McNeil and his lovely bride sent me her she sends me a picture every day uh, matching the days to the Daytona 500, and today it's four days out. It's a car number four driven by uh, Mr. Harvick. So, hello, Bradley Purdy in Cleveland, Texas. Hope you're having a great day as well. And so, again, basketball tonight of the AAA, AA, and single A are off, and so they'll crank it back up again tomorrow, and it'll get after it again in, uh, in their respective locations. Coming up next, Andy Dietrich joins us from Champion Chevrolet. He'll be with us next here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show as we work our way through this Thursday. Again, February the 15th. Tomorrow will be live at Food City, right down the road, Food City and Boone's Creek, for the big throwback sale. Well, they got some deals, too. And so we'll be there broadcasting live tomorrow at Food City. Before we go to the break, let me remind you right here, as you see on the screen, you buy your Bristol tickets for less at Food City. Again, the tickets for the April 15th running of the Food City 500 with Jimmy Johnson back in town to defend his crown. Tickets for those are only 50 bucks for adults, kids 12 and under, a $10 ticket. Of course, on that Saturday, we're 58 days away from the Saturday racing. And that would be the Xfinity Series, the Fitzgerald Glider Kits 300 and the Zombie Auto 150. 450 laps of racing. Kids 12 and under get in free on Saturday, April the 14th. And the adult tickets are only 30 bucks. You can get those also at Food City. As you can see on the screen, when you do, you get 500 bonus value points for every ticket you purchase. So we've done the math. That breaks out to three gas visits per ticket. So if you buy a pair of tickets, which most people do, you're going to get yourself six gas visits where you get 15 cents off a gallon. If you go in on Wednesday, 
It's Double Wednesday. You get 30 cents off a gallon. So it's a no-brainer to get your tickets. Again, at Food City, and a lot of folks do. And so buy your tickets, your Bristol tickets, at Food City for less. And there you go. And so we're looking forward to being up there in 59, there actually 58 days for the Xfinity Series race on that Saturday, that doubleheader. And, of course, we're 59 days out now to the Food City 500 with Jimmy Johnson back in town to defend his crown. Driving what? Driving a Chevrolet. Quick break. We'll be right back. we got my man in the house ready to go, Andy Dietrich. He's been gone for a couple of weeks. He's back, and we're looking forward to talking to Andy right after this time out on show number 689 from Champion Chevrolet of the Tom Toe Sports Show. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City is starting off 2018 with monster savings on over 350 new Chevrolets to choose from. Take advantage of these awesome savings for a limited time only. Silverado Crew and Double Cabs, 10,000 off MSRP, 17 Spark, 11,995, 18 Equinox, 19,995, 17 Traverse, 28,995, 17 Corvette, 20% off MSRP. Shop us online 24-7 and don't forget our Saturday parks and service hours. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? The savings continue in the month of February at Max Meta Smart in Kingsport. All natural factors, 20% off. Folic acid, CoQ10, apple cider vinegar capsules, B12, they're all on sale. Anything natural factors, all 20% off the month of February at Max Meta Smart. No coupons, no limits. It's a flat 20% off anytime you buy natural factors in February at Max Meta Smart. Max Meta Smart, Center Street, Kingsport. Natural factors, 20% off in February. Make tracks to Max Medicine Mart. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. Back on the Tom Taylor Sports Show live at Champion Chevrolet again on this Thursday, February the 15th. Countdown to, well, countdown to the Food City 500, as we said, 59 days away. We'll talk more about the Daytona 500 and NASCAR coming up here in just a little while. Of course, tomorrow we'll have a full report from our buddy Mike Hedrick, again with the NASCAR fans reporter, as he'll give us a inside and in-depth look at the Daytona 500. Of course, the Can-Am duels coming up tonight. We'll tell you all about that coming up here in just a few minutes. College football and appeal by Notre Dame. 
against the NCAA in an academic misconduct case has been denied. As a result, the school must vacate 21 victories. We talked about this yesterday. 21 victories from the 2012-2013 season when the Fighting Irish made a run to the 2013 BCS championship game and, of course, the ensuing 13-14 and 14 season. In a release, the NCAA Division I Infractions Appeals Committee stated they found a former Notre Dame athletic training student who violated NCAA ethical conduct rules when she committed academic misconduct for two football student-athletes and provided six other football student-athletes with impermissible academic extra benefits. Uh, in his own letter to Notre Dame alumni, University President Friar John Jenkins said, quote, we are deeply disappointed by and strongly disagree with the Appeals Committee's conclusion. Our concerns go beyond the particulars of our case and the record of two football seasons to the academic autonomy of our institution, the integrity of college athletics, and the ability of the NCAA to achieve its fundamental purpose. So says the president of Notre Dame. So, uh, big loss there, literally taking games away from the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Another story, SEC Commissioner Greg Sankey telling leadership of Mississippi State and Ole Miss that teams in the conference might not play in the state if it passes a proposed gun law. Sankey said SEC schools may decline opportunities to play at their schools should House Bill 1083 be passed in the law. House Bill 1083 in Mississippi would allow people with enhanced firearms license to carry concealed weapons on publicly owned land, including public universities and, more importantly, their sports venues, which means, based on this, you can bring guns to games, I guess is what it's saying. Uh, Sankey is not the only person to oppose this law. Ole Miss Chancellor Jeffrey Vitter, V-I-T-T-E-R, Vitter, Vitter, releasing a statement on the school stance saying it would, on a negative impact, the University of Mississippi's ability to continue to uphold the safety and security for our students, faculty, staff, patients, and visitors on all campuses. The bill was passed in the Mississippi House by an 80 to 29 vote. Pass but it will need to be passed in the Senate for it to become law. So stay tuned for that one down in Mississippi. But commissioners, said, you know, if this passes, we may not ask our football programs to come play football at Ole Miss or Mississippi State. So that would be a definite ripple effect if, in fact, that goes through in Ole Miss, good, bad, or otherwise. So I want to know it would be bad, good or bad, depending on which side of the fence you stand on with respect to having guns on campuses, again, in, in the in the college arena. By the way, it's the obvious. Our heart and thoughts and prayers go out to the families. Can't even imagine that you send someone off to school, high school, middle school, elementary, doesn't matter. Send them off to school and then you get the phone call, they're not coming back. So, very, very tragic situation down in Florida. Uh, it has been politicized by folks, uh, which I think is deeply, deeply, deeply wrong. This is not the time to be pointing fingers of why it happened and who's responsible and so on and so forth. Those families have lost those kids. They don't care who, I mean, that's the farthest thing in their mind is the political ramifications or pointing fingers politically about why this happened. They have to go bury a child they didn't expect to bury. And they always say the toughest thing in life is to bury one of your children. So our thoughts and prayers go out to the folks in Florida for what they've had to endure. And it's going to be uh, scars that will never be healed because of what happened yesterday in Florida. Tennessee football schedule 2018. Pull this up just for kicks, and here we go. Uh, September 1st, they take on the West Virginia Mountaineers, the Belk Bowl in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, or Belk Stadium uh, in Charlotte, where they play the Belk Bowl, I should say. Uh, they come back home and take on the Buccaneers of East Tennessee State on September the 8th. East Tennessee State at Tennessee. September the 5th, UTEP comes to town, Texas El Paso. Then on September the 22nd, the Florida Gators roll into Neyland Stadium. Then on September the 29th, they go to the national runner-up, the Georgia Bulldogs. Off week on October the 6th. Then they have three in a row, three pretty tough ones. At number eight, Auburn. Number one, Alabama comes to Knoxville October the 20th. And then go to a much-improved South Carolina team, a number 23rd-ranked South Carolina on Halloween weekend in Columbia, South Carolina. In November, Tennessee plays Charlotte in Knoxville, Kentucky in Knoxville, Missouri in Knoxville, and wraps up the season Thanksgiving weekend at Vanderbilt in Nashville. So that's your Tennessee football schedule for 2018.
and 18. We are live here again at Champion Chevrolet, uh, awaiting the arrival of Mr. Dietrich. He'll be here in just a second. Let's take a look at Science Hill and Dobbinson and other state wrestling title contenders here in the local scene. Science Hill and Dobbins Bennett have multiple contenders for gold in this week's TSSAA Class AAA State Individual Wrestling Championship in Franklin, Tennessee. Hilltoppers finished second in the state in duels, and seven Science Hill grapplers won the Region 1 AAA Individual Championships last Saturday. Luke Story, again, leads the list of contenders at the 138 division. Uh, also, let's see who else you have. Chase Deal and Weston Brown. Other Region 1 AAA champions, Braxton Mann, Tyler Sweeney, Jim Kalogaris, Denzel Mendina. Again, all going. Arthur James finished third of the Region 1 AAA championships. Reached the 152 semifinals of last year's state championship. Also, you have Joseph Fry, Isaiah Ryans, and Joseph Morell all placing second and can present tough matchups to the state tournament. Dobbins Bennett has threats of the lightest and heaviest divisions. Brennan Watkins won the uh, AAA title, Region 1 AAA title at 106, where he pinned Science Hill's Hayden Bodo in the final. Roger Hartley of Daniel Boone also qualified in the lightest division. Brenton Salyers of Dobbins Bennett won the 285 title, while other locals to qualify were Jesse Cross of Science Hill and Dwight Christian of Volunteer going to the state wrestling tournament. Hello, Jerry Keller. Good morning, my good friend. Brenton Salyers, we talked about Dobbins Bennett, also representing DB, will be Jackson Hurst at 126, Trey Morissette at 138, Dylan Lemons at 145, Clinton Morissette wrestling at 152, and Randall Whisman at 220. Volunteer has five wrestlers in the state tournament. Caleb Walters at 113, Timothy Carpenter at 120, Isaac Carpenter at 138, Avery Vinoy at 160, and Dane Dykes at 220. Uh, Crockett, besides Russell, we talked earlier about Russell going uh, for the Crockett Pioneers. Besides Russell going to the state wrestling tournament, you also have uh, big Gavin Russell. You also have Caleb Bowman at 170, Jacob Bowman at 182, and Zane Gray at 195. From Tennessee High, Dylan Pinsley was named the most outstanding wrestler at the Region 1 AAA tournament, and so he is a threat to win it all in the 132 title, 132 pound title, I should say. Uh, also, you have in the single AA ranks individual regional champions in wrestling Hunter Morell of Elizabethan at 106, Elijah Hicks of Sullivan East at 113, and Caleb Bear of Sullivan East at 285. Other Elizabethan qualifiers for the state wrestling tournament this weekend in Franklin, Tennessee Corey Lawson at 126, Andrew Fontanez at 132, Kilroy Hill at 152. Jonathan Moore's, Morton, rather, 170. Chris Taylor, no relation, wrestling at 182. And Joseph Ketcher for Elizabethan at 285. Uh, let's see, Sullivan East wrestlers to qualify. Ty Board at 106. Cody Graham at 138. And Dylan Chase in the 145-pound class. Cameron Sloan of Happy Valley qualified at 220. Alex Overbay of Sullivan South qualified at 138. On the girls' side of wrestling going to the state tournament, you have defending state champion Isabella Baden, 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 B-A-D-O-N, of 119 of Daniel Boone. Uh, Helena Campbell Ketchin of Science Hill won the 125 class of the girls' East Regional. And other lady toppers to qualify for the state wrestling tournament, Elizabeth Grease at 112, Carly Brown at 140, Nicole Swink at 150, and Olivia Gastiger at 190. Paige Snap won at 150 for Crockett, which also had Taylor Roy qualify at the 103 class, and Happy Valley be represented by Jalen Baker at 160. Last but not least, Haley Brown of Elizabeth won the 170 East Regional Champion with teammates Tasha Tasha Thomas at 112 and Shamia Wells at 215. So a lot of kids obviously heading off to the state wrestling tournament this weekend in Franklin, Tennessee, and we wish them the very, very best. More college football news. Robert Golifsky, the last holdout of Butch Jones' coaching staff, no longer part of the new coaching staff after serving as running back coach for the last five seasons. Athletic Director Philip Fulmer confirmed Gillespie's exit Wednesday while speaking to the Big Orange Tip-Off Club and indicated the decision was made by new head coach Jeremy Pruitt. And so Gillespie was the lone remaining holdover from former B coach Butch Jones' staff. A replacement has not been named. And so... Former said it was simply a matter of Coach Pruitt doing what he thought was right for his program and for Robert. Former added that Gillespie understood the decision. So there you go. Yeah, so he's no longer on the coaching staff for the Tennessee Volunteers. 
And one more football note, former Dobbins minute and Appalachian star, again, Daniel Kilgore, the center of the San Francisco 49er football team, receiving a three-year contract extension. Niners, um, Niners general manager John Lynch said it was important to reach a deal with Kilgore ahead of the free agency period. Daniel Kilgore, 30 years old, 6'3", 308, a former Dobbins minute standout. Started a career-high 16 games last season. He was a fifth-round draft pick back in 2011. He's made 39 career starts in 74 regular season games. Daniel Kilgore of Dobbins Minute now for the San Francisco 49ers has started in each of his past 32 games, snapping the ball for the center, and they said we got to keep this guy in the fold, and so they signed him to a three-year contract extension and puts him through, what, 2020. So good news there for uh, Daniel Kilgore, another one of our local youngsters who moved on to play for football in the pros, much like our buddy Jason Witten has done for the Dallas Cowboys. Quick break. Andy Dietrich, are you ready? Are you busy? No, he's coming. Good, I'm excited. My man's in the house. Let's bring him in. He'll join us next. Andy Dietrich, the co-owner of Champion Chevrolet, with us next year on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at FCA.org. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City is starting off 2018 with monster savings on over 350 new Chevrolets to choose from. Take advantage of these awesome savings for a limited time only. Silverado Crew and Double Caps, 10,000 off MSRP, 17 Spark, 11,995, 18 Equinox, 19,995, 17 Traverse, 28,995, 17 Corvette, 20% off MSRP. Shop us online 24-7 and don't forget our Saturday parts and service hours. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? The savings continue the month of February at Max Modus Martin Kingsport. All natural factors, 20% off. Folic acid, CoQ10, apple cider vinegar capsules, B12, they're all on sale. Anything natural factors, all 20% off the month of February at Max Modus Mart. No coupons, no limits. It's a flat 20% off anytime you buy natural factors in February at Max Modus Mart. Max Modus Mart Center Street Kingsport, natural factors, 20% off in February. Make tracks to Max Medicine Mart. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today.
We're back on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, ready to go. We haven't had him for a while on the show, but he's here today with some new specials, and that would be our buddy, the co-owner of Champion Chevrolet. There he is, our buddy, Andy Dietrich. And so, I thought I was retired, didn't you? I did. I kept coming. I was, where's Andy? And they said, he's not here today. Yeah. So, okay. So I didn't know what. Yeah, I don't know whether that was her way of saying he's no longer with us. Just kept saying he's not here today. <laughs> Tim Nobody... did something to me. <laughs> Buried me out back. Well, it was a pretty cool story. Again, we've got some great specials. We'll talk about it involving uh, Silverados and Traverses and Sparks for 2017. We'll talk about that in a moment. But you got to pull off a pretty cool thing going to New York City. Tell yeah, me about it. Two weeks ago, um, I, le- I flew out of Tri-Cities um, uh, two weeks ago last Wednesday. Um, at 9 a.m., flew through Atlanta, got to LaGuardia, and we landed about 3 p.m. up there. And what we were doing is uh, Dr. Nolan, president of ETSU, and his wife were going to New York City from Wednesday to Sunday because he just turned 50 years old. Um, right, he turned right around Christmas. It was the first time they could get away. Um, the two of them, just, they were going to go see some Broadway shows and Bruce Springsteen and just do have birthday celebrations mm-hmm. and so she had hit me and another buddy of mine up and said why not, could you all fly up and just surprise him in new york city you know maybe show up at a restaurant or something and just flip him out you know, just you know, cause him to go what in the world is going on here so anyway we flew up i they always they usually fly american airlines and my buddy and i flew delta and we left out tri-cities an hour before they did so, so we would have been really up a creek if our flight had been delayed or something. But luckily, <laughs> all that was, you know, we flew out, got up there at 3 o'clock, and they got up there at 4 o'clock. So we got in the cab and went straight to the hotel. Mm-hmm. And when we got to the hotel, we were checking in and said, hey, we need your help with something. Tell them the front desk guy. And said, hey, we've got another couple that's got a reservation here. Um, it's his birthday, and we want to surprise him. He doesn't know we're coming. And here's our idea. We want to borrow the Bellman's. Uh, jacket, jacket and their hat <laughs> so when they roll up in their uber or, or cab or whatever we want to jump out and get their luggage and, and he'll like do a double take and say, what are you doing here? he goes well the the front desk guy goes well that's a really good idea but they're union and you can't do that he said i'm not union but they are and that's not going to fly right like, well i looked over my buddy and i said hey Maybe we'll just hide in the lobby. They come in. We'll jump out and scare them. He goes, and the guy behind the front desk goes, oh, no, I got a better idea. Uh-oh. And I said, what's that? He goes, um, he goes, here in about the next 30 minutes, I'll know what room number they're going to get because I haven't been assigned to the computer yet. And I'll just, I'll call you up at your room. You come down, I'll give you the key to the room. And then you can jump out in the room when they go in with their luggage. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine, fine, but I'm, back, back in my head, head I'm thinking, thinking, what if I'm there to kill him? <laughs> or what this if, guy doesn't know. What if yeah. the lady with him is my wife? There you go. <laughs> and this is, you know, you think of New York City as being a safe place because of all the things. You know, I, I remember after 9-11, you go up there and there's a policeman standing on every corner. You know, everything's mm-hmm. very safe and secure. Mm-hmm. Now if you go. And this guy at the front desk. Doesn't know you from Adam's house, Dave. hotel. Yeah. Doesn't know it's from Adam. I didn't make the reservation with them totally separate, is going, going to give me their room key and, and let me go up there and hide in their room. Mm-hmm. And so he, it was funny, we, we, I went down, he called me, we went down, got the, uh, the room number and the key, we went up to the room, and it was funny, we got in their room, and the phone rings in their room. I was like, should we answer it? I answered it. And it's the front desk guy. He goes, they're on their way up. I was like, oh, shoot. And see, we had talked. And, uh, and I said, I want to video this. Mm-hmm. So I stuck my camera, my phone, on the air conditioner by the window, you know, one of those wall units, and set it up pointing towards the front door. And I was setting it up. The door opens. I, in the video, I'm diving across the bed and getting with my buddy behind the wall. Well, And I'd been texting Dr. Nolan's wife, and she knew that we were going to be doing this, so she wouldn't have a heart attack, too. Mm-hmm. And so she came in, and she walked past us, and you could see her grinning, but she kept walking straight. And he closed the door, came in, we jumped out. We scared him half to death. He thought he was about to get killed. And he goes, what are y'all doing here? It's like, well, happy, happy birthday. birthday. There you go. So It went well, it just, I guess. It was a neat story, just the fact that they gave us a room key. I still can't get over that. Yeah, that's a little... That makes yeah. you, like, 
could anybody do that to you? If you're exactly. going somewhere to stay at a hotel, yeah. you never know. Andy could be standing behind that wall to jump out and scare you. So Dr. Nolan was, I guess, pleasantly surprised with this caper, right? Yes, we surprised him. We took him to dinner, and he didn't know, too, we had gotten him Hamilton, the Broadway play, mm-hmm. tickets. So we went to uh, see Hamilton after dinner that night. And Did so he see Springsteen, too, when he, he was up there? He saw Springsteen the next night. Yeah. He said that was incredible. Yeah. Now, who's the guy you want me to go see, and I've never seen him? Ed somebody with the red beard? Ed Schuen? It's Who? Ed Is he any good? Thank you, Carl. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind saying he's going to be in the, I know he's going to be at the Mercedes Benz Stadium next or this November. When are you going to see him? You're going to go see him no, tomorrow. I don't have tickets. You, you know who I have tickets to see? <laughs> I came in from work. I barely <laughs> set my briefcase down in the laundry room. Haley comes. I need your credit card. I need your credit card. And you know, she had her phone up to her ear. And I was like, what It's for? never a dull moment, is it? What for? And she goes, I joined the Taylor Swift fan club, and they've opened up these tickets before anybody else. So you're going to go see Taylor Swift? In Nashville in August. Oh, really? Yeah. We're there you sitting go. like 16th row. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> are you a big Taylor Swift fan? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I can tell. Yeah, you are now. So, uh, wow. So we're, we're taking the kids, and we're going to go see Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. 16 rows back. But Haley, Haley and Hagen have seen Taylor Swift. This will be the third time. This indoor or outdoor? Is football stadium or inside the uh, Gaylord it's Arena? In, it's in Bridgestone. Bridgestone, rather. Bridgestone Arena. So, um, what I say Gaylord? Is, it, is there a Gaylord Arena? They switched it Bridgestone. They switched it from Gaylord to Bridgestone. Bridgestone is now the house monitor. Uh, so I'm outdated. So Gaylord is now the Bridgestone Arena, so it's indoor. So my man Andy's going to be 16 rows back in August. Who is, very, is that race? You better not miss the race. No, it's the week after the race. Man, don't miss the, it's the week best race. race in NASCAR. I'm already pumped up about the April race. I am too, baby. I'm camping. 59 days away from the Food City 500. Carmichael's joining us coming up in a few minutes. He's got a plethora of sports. We've got a massive inventory, huge savings. What? you got 17, one, two, three, three different 17 models. you got to move them out of here. Yeah, it's it's that time of year. It's it's, it's past due. It's it's time to make get them out. Right. Uh, because we've got the new 19 Silverado that will be here very end of the year first of next year the new body style so the 17 and 18 trucks have got to go but the biggest discount is we've got 17 silverado 1500 crew and double cabs twelve thousand dollars off msrp those are the all-star crew cab and double cabs and a thousand of that twelve thousand dollars you must finance with gm financial to get the full twelve thousand dollars um also i've got several 2017 corvettes left they're 20% off MSRP to qualify for part of that 20%. You must own or live in the same residence with someone that has a uh, Chevrolet vehicle of some sort. Hmm. Uh, also got 18 Equinoxes, $4,000 off MSRP. 17 Traverses, $6,000 off MSRP. And 17 Sparks, 10, starting at ten nine ninety five. So. Saturday Parts and Service Hours and online champion shopping 24-7, championjc.com. So... Uh, it's all coming up, and it's here. And the chamber breakfast Wednesday, yesterday morning at uh, sorry, Sam's Club. You were Club. supposed to be there. We got our wires crossed. I didn't. I lost your invitation in the mail. You know, <laughs> I, it, it, it was a sellout. We had a hundred, about right at 125 people there. Oh, really? Businesses and uh, individuals. We had some good representation on um, uh, new members there. Got to get up and tell their stories. Uh, Sam's Club did a monstrous breakfast. It looked like fruit that they have out on this breakfast table look like fruit on steroids oh really yeah grapes Good stuff. that big and strawberries that big and they had they had breakfast pizzas out for us and coffee and juices and they sam's club hit it out of the park for us but next month uh be at the international storytelling festival uh, center in downtown jonesboro um, i'll get you the dates we gotta be there i want to hang but every single month we're at a different uh business or location uh sponsored by a business and um we were thankful yesterday to have Sam's Club, and it was cool. They gave everybody there, uh, even if you don't have a membership, they gave you a card that says a one-day free pass to shop. Cool. So, Who won the car? Uh, a gentleman from Parrotsville, Tennessee. Won the car. Which one did he take? Take the he, truck he or the took Cadillac? The traverse. Took the Traverse. Yes. Awesome. Um, we didn't have exactly what he wanted, so we found him a black one. Is what is what he was looking for, and we were accommodating and got it for him, and they picked it up on 
Monday and they had pictures of us and I was handing him the key and his wife was here and she was thrilled. I think it's really going to her. He won it, but it's going to her. You know how that goes when you're married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's but good. So, yeah, so the pictures of the, the them getting in the car will probably be either in the John C. Press and the John, John C. News and Neighbor probably sometime next week if I had to guess. Yep. So congratulations to the gentleman in Parrotsville, Tennessee. They sold a bunch of tickets too, didn't they? Yeah, they did really well, and we had all three cash prize winners here, too, even though we're not. The foundation does that part of it, but we had all three cash winners here, and their pictures will be in the, the paper as well. Everybody is thrilled to get money and get a free car. There you go. All right. You will come back? Is this it for today? I'm here. You, if, you, if you need me to bring, bring you up. out on a high note, just holler at me. Count it. Count it. Well, well, I'll him. find another story to tell. Well, that's a pretty good one. That is a little disconcerting to let the, the, the front front manager uh the desk front what do you want to call the guy hotel desk manager just hand you the keys well, a total he said stranger in front of the other guy that was working on the desk too i thought maybe the guy would look over and smack and say no you can't do that but nobody ever said that wow that's a little yeah a little disconcerting we'll take a quick break he's in the house he's my man carmichael we got lots to cover major league baseball spring training has started who's your favorite baseball team braves yeah yeah. You see where John Smoltz is coming to town next Coming to week. town, yeah. That's what I was just on the phone with right when you were hollering for me to come over here. I, I may go see him. Yeah. Was, uh, well, he got voted in the Hall of Fame what, mm. last year, year before last. Sixteen? So. Mm, Fifteen or sixteen? Sixteen, yeah. yep. Hall of Famer John Smoltz is coming to town. All right, quick break. We'll be right back. We will come in and talk lots of sports with Carmichael. We're live at Champion Chevrolet again, championjc.com. Number one dealership. Is it, what is it, 50, 51 Chevy dealers in Tennessee? Gosh, I don't know. Tim told me one time. Tim, is it 50 or 51 Chevy dealerships? 51. We're the number one out of 51. Six out of the 10 years we've been here. There you go. Quick break. We'll be right back to Champion Chevrolet, Bristol Highway Motor Mile on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City is starting off 2018 with monster savings on over 350 new Chevrolets to choose from. Take advantage of these awesome savings for a limited time only. Silverado Crew and Double Caps, 10,000 off MSRP, 17 Spark, 11,995, 18 Equinox, 19,995, 17 Traverse, 28,995, 17 Corvette, 20% off MSRP. Shop us online 24-7 and don't forget our Saturday parts and service hours. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? The savings continue the month of February at Max Meta Smart in Kingsport. All natural factors, 20% off. Folic acid, CoQ10, apple cider vinegar capsules, B12, they're all on sale. Anything natural factors, all 20% off the month of February at Max Meta Smart. No coupons, no limits. It's a flat 20% off anytime you buy natural factors in February at Max Meta Smart. Max Meta Smart, Center Street, Kingsport. Natural factors, 20% off in February. Make tracks to Max Medicine Mart. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, Lives are changed, one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org.
Back on the Tom Douglas Sports Show. There he is, my man Carmichael's in the house, as he is every Thursday. We certainly appreciate that. Bradley Purdy, he'll be back in a few minutes. I will tell Andy Dietrich Heidi from Texas. Bradley watching out in Cleveland, Texas, said he went to high school with Andy. I'm sorry. And so from elementary to high school, he's been he's a great guy. He is. We just like to give him a hard time. So we will. Uh, Andy. I'm not sure where Cleveland, Texas is. I don't know if it's near Austin or near uh, El Paso. or Where is Cleveland, Texas, Bradley Purdy? Where are you at geographically? He's watching the show out yonder in Texas. So The great state of Texas. Great state of Texas, where they do things bigger and better in Texas, the Lone Star State. So, all right, let's jump into college basketball. Two-year FBI probe into corruption in college basketball could result in more than just the charges already levied against the coaches and individuals that were implicated last fall. According to a report on ESPN, the ongoing FBI investigation, Mr. Carmichael, could involve as many as three dozen Division One programs. Most of these are the upper tier or the big boys. Yes, and we talked about it when it happened. This was a program that could really – the big, this could be the biggest scandal in college basketball and college sports since the – fix the – Point shaving in 1951 with CCNY and Kentucky and those schools. Mm-hmm. So it's a chance that it may take down. And when it, if it does take down, it's going to take down some big players, big names, and it could change college basketball forever. Yep, we'll see. But the feds are in on a two-year FBI probe, and it's getting where there's smoke, there's fire. So we'll keep an eye on that. Of course, Bradley Purdy says 38 miles northeast of Houston on 59 freeway. So he's close to Houston. Out with the Astros, the Rock, the, the NBA's best record right now, Houston Rockets and uh, the Houston Texans and the Houston Dynamo of Major League Soccer. Mr. Dietrich, we've just sent greetings from Cleveland, Texas. A guy went to school with you in Kingsport named Bradley Purdy. You know Bradley? Yeah. He said, tell Andy I said hi. We went to school together from elementary high school. He's a great guy. He's in Texas. I asked him where Cleveland, Texas is. He's 38 miles northeast of Houston. So when you come back for your, that's what he said. When you come back for your next segment, you can say hello to Mr. Purdy personally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So hello to Bradley Purdy. Good guy. I appreciate you very, very much watching the show. All right, college hoops. What's wrong with Kentucky? They got beat again last night, fourth straight. They lose at Auburn by, what, 10, 76, 66, Wildcats 17 and 9. Can Calipari write the ship before the tournament? I don't know if he can. I think this year it may be one year where he took it too many freshmen, and, and maybe, maybe not, not the best, best freshmen. freshmen. You know, when you, when you come up with freshmen every year that are leaving, playing for you one year and going to the NBA to be a star the next year, you know, it, it's great. But if you get those freshmen that aren't maybe the necessarily the best players, you know, maybe it takes you a little bit longer to gel. They have struggled all year, really. Kentucky. From game one, when you watch Kentucky, they played uh, one of the teams from Utah. Mm-hmm. They, they struggled, uh, trailed at the half. And really, from that time on, Kentucky has not been a, has not really been a top team all year. And Auburn is one of the great surprises for college basketball this season. Bruce Pearl may be doing his best coaching job ever. This year. So, if you're Rick Barnes and you sweep Kentucky, would you look at them? Lost four straight and they're 17 and nine. How big a deal is that to beat Kentucky in what looks to be a down year? It still is a big deal. Anytime you beat, anytime you beat Kentucky in basketball, it doesn't matter what. It's a, it's a big thing. It's, still, it's like any time you beat Alabama, even if Alabama's 6-6, six and six, you know, like Nick's first year down there. It's a big thing if you can do it. Big thing for your program. Dalton Carmichael, again, we're talking sports, college basketball, the new number one, of course. Uh, you okay with Virginia being number one? You know, this is maybe one of the most unpredictable years. College basketball keeps getting more unpredictable, but this may be the most unpredictable year we've had in many years. You could see as many, I think, as 20 teams, 20 to 25 teams, Depending on what happens in March, could get lucky, get hot, and make a run to the Final Four and possibly win it. Villanova goes to Providence last night, gets knocked off. Florida State knocks off 11th ranked Clemson. So there was two upsets last Clemson's night. Over, right? Clemson's done played well this year, but really in a, in a normal year, Clemson's not a, the 11th ranked team in the country. Come on. That's, it's, you know, Carolina's having a down year. Carolina beat Duke last week. Carolina's having a down year. Andy Kennedy out as the coach at Ole Miss after the season. Why do you leave him in there? Why don't you make the make the change now? Well, they're they're letting him finish out the season. I mean, he's decided he's not going to come back. They're they're going to go hire. Uh, they're going to go get a full time coach. 
the two names I hear for that job, Kermit Davis, coach of Middle Tennessee State University, was at Idaho, has ties to the Mississippi area. Steve Forbes, East Tennessee State University. Mm, there you go. We'll see if we can keep him around because I, the big boys are going to come calling. Why would you not? He's doing a heck of a job at East Tennessee State. We're talking to Carmichael. So. I couldn't tell you. Right now, I think East Tennessee State University and I think Middle Tennessee State University are better jobs than Ole Miss in basketball. Mm, that's, that, I would, you don't have to be, you don't to be a top 16 or 18 you do the Greg Marshall thing when he was at Winthrop and then Wichita State. You don't have to be in one of those Power Five conferences to make a run to win a national title. You could be in an ETSU, make a good uh, chunk of change, and have a chance to make the Sweet 16 or the Final Eight with a team like ETSU's got this year. And Ole Miss, you're playing, you're going in night after night playing the big boys every night. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, if I can get here. If I can get here the easy way instead of having to get here and climb over six mountains. Which way are you going to go? Which way are you going to go? The path of least resistance. Exactly. How good is Tennessee men's basketball team? They are good. This is a, this is a really a, a very pleasant surprise. After everything that went bad during football season, this is such a pleasant surprise. Rick Barnes has done one of his best jobs. Hopefully the – they can keep it together through the Southeastern Conference Tournament and into the NCAA Tournament. I think it's a, a team, another team, if they're on their game like they've been this year, it's a team that could file eight, file four possibility, just how the, how the landscape of college basketball has been this year. Carmichael, he and I have been together. He was my stat man when I was doing East Tennessee State Buccaneer basketball and football back in the day. How many years ago was that, 30-some 30 years? Now be coming up on 33 this fall. I was only 12 and I was doing it, so that's, uh, yeah, right. So, yep, we go back a long way. And so, uh, Bradley says that's a sad statement in basketball for Ole Miss. That's exactly right. But uh, I would think you're right. I know East Tennessee State probably a better job in hoops and probably uh, in Nashville or, of course, in this case, Murfreesboro, Middle Tennessee State, that's a neat campus, a growing it's place. The school, it's the biggest school enrollment in the state of Tennessee because they've got all of Nashville, Murfreesboro, they've got all those students down there. It is the number one in enrollment. It's the number one. And it has become such a good job, not only in men's basketball, but women's basketball. Bart Lyon, who from our area, coach, mm -hmm. his uh, our daddy plays on the Lady Raiders. They've been NCAA uh, tournament regulars the last few years. And Kermit Davis has really built middle into a top-notch program. Top three college basketball teams right now, men's. I still think Virginia, I still think Villanova's got the talent and going to be there. And, you know, Michigan State, they're starting to play better. They're starting. That's another one. And Arizona, but this this FBI broke, if it comes out in the next, if this thing happens in the next two to three weeks, this could blow this could blow apart college basketball and could blow apart March Madness. There you go. Hey, real quick, I want to remind you, again, the promotion's on at Sprint. Again, one of our great sponsors, the Samsung S8 for $8 a month, a brand-new S8 Plus for $12 a month, and the Samsung Note 8 for $18 a month. That's some of the new promotions going on right now at Sprint. Also, you can lease an iPhone 8. You, everyone, everyone you lease, you get one free, so lease one, get one. Also, this LG pad I've got right here, those are free at Sprint for all customers. And also, uh, let's see, you lease a Moto Z Force 2 and get a free Amazon Alexa. You have an Alexa? No. You, I don't either. So an iPhone 10 also for $30 a month with new act for new activation. All this is the Sprint store again on North Rhone Street right here in front of Longhorn Steakhouse. And so those are some of the deals going on with our good friends at Sprint, one of our new sponsors here on the show. We love it. We're here live again at Champion Chevrolet, the number one Chevy dealer in the state. Nobody in 51 dealerships sells more Chevys from Memphis to Mountain City year after year than the folks at Champion. Again, the Traverses 2017, not many here. they got to get rid of them. The 2017 Traverses, $6,000 off MSRP. We'll talk to Andy in our other segment coming up and 
tell us the selling points of a Traverse, see what's out there that, or why we would consider a Traverse, and also the Sparks are on sale too. 2017 Sparks for 1095, 10995. Right? They got to get rid of them, get them out of here, and so Andy will tell us about that coming up here in a few minutes. NBA, let's see. Last night, the Golden State Warriors go into Portland and lose to the Trailblazers, 123-117. Is that a, uh, a cause of concern for the Warriors? Just a, it is a, a cause of concern. I mean, this is now, this has probably been the first time since the 2013-14 season that there's been another team number one in the West at this late a stage in the season. Houston not only is the best team in the West, best team in the NBA record-wise right now. 44 and 13. Golden State has struggled. I mean, it's I don't know if it's they've not played well defensively. That's been the thing. It's not that they're not scoring enough points. They're just not playing well defensively. Sometimes it's a lack of focus. The other night, Steve Kerr tried something different. He said the guys are tired of listening to my voice. He said so. He let the team basically he let Draymond Green, Andre Iguodala, and um, Try, basically coached the team. Mm-hmm. They grew up the plays. They did this. And it kind of it helped their play defense. But it kind of got them a little bit of focus back. But last night, defensively, just just not. it's just not there. And I don't think they got the depth. I mean, you know, it's going to be tough to play a team like Houston four out of seven. It's going to be tough to play some of those Western Conference teams in a four out of seven thing. They gave up. 123. They scored 117, but they lose last night in Portland. Again, the Warriors now 44 and 14, and Portland improves to 32 and 26. What about the resurging Cleveland Cavaliers? What do you think about those guys? You know, they just, you know, they just all they did really was just shuffle some chairs on the deck of the Titanic, called, <laughs> named LeBron, because they got rid of basically they all their deals they made this summer. They realized they made mistakes. I mean, Isaiah Thomas. Not a very good defense player. Wasn't a good defense player even when he was with Boston when he was healthy. The, uh, Dwayne Wade, really past his prime. Uh, the kid from Derrick Rose. That was, I mean, Derrick Rose has not been a good player in two to three years. Jay Crowder, I mean, they got some. They got younger. They got a little bit more athletic. But in the long run, is it enough to get them to the championship? I don't know. I don't know that they're a better team than Boston in a four-hour set right now. Now, you could say, well, LeBron's there. And maybe LeBron's enough to win four games by himself. Well, we'll find out. And you've also got to think in the East, too. Toronto. Toronto. Oh, well yeah. This year. And when uh, Washington gets John Wall back, you've got another team. So I think there's four potential teams in the East that could that could win it this year. Don Carmichael, Talking Sports, live at Champion Chevrolet. Again, we're coming back to wrap up the show. Be our buddy Andy Dietrich coming up here in just a little while. NASCAR, we'll talk about that coming up here after the break. But the lads and the Can-Am duels tonight, again, uh, it's going to get interesting. On that front row is Alex Bowman and Denny Hamlin. Everything else, you throw them in the hat and shuffle them up. And so uh, the Fords did well in the clash. Penske again with Kozlowski and Logano went one and two. Chevrolets are looking good down there with the brand-new Camaro ZL1. The Chevys, of course, uh, from Rick Hendrick Motorsports. So, uh, uh, it's anybody's, it's anybody's, it's anybody's race. Yeah, that's know, what I was going to say. The pre- will the pressure get to Alex? But you wonder, first time he's really in the spotlight, you know, even though he drove for Junior some last year, will the pressure get to him in the, in the 500? Uh, is it going to be somebody? Is it going to be... Is it going to be one of the Fords that stays up there? Is it going to be one of Joe Gibbs' cars that stays up there? Mm-hmm. You know, can't – or is it somebody that comes way out of left field? You know, I never – and this I say this every time they run the Daytona 500, this one particular race, never count the Wood Brothers out. Mm-hmm. They are – to me, they're always my sleeper. Whoever drives for the Woods Brothers is always my sleeper. Down. It's now Paul Menard, so it was FTC. And uh, it's a possibility. There you go. Trevor Bain, I love to see him do well. The young man out in Knoxville, of course. Uh, Kyle Bush was watching him last night saying, you know, this is the only one I don't have. This is the one I want. I want the Daytona 500 trophy. I don't have it. And so uh, he is, uh, and Martin Trex Jr., very serious in the media day yesterday, said, you know, I'm not down here to lollygag around. I'm here to win this race. And, you know, we talked about the last few weeks the young guns and Kyle Bush. But then when you kind of realize about Kyle Bush, Kyle Bush is only 32 years old. Mm-hmm. 32. Mm-hmm. That's that's young. Mm-hmm. He's as young as some of those guys. There, I mean, some of those guys are criticizing them or are just barely out of high school. But then, you know, you've got some of those other. He's older. He's younger than some of the older drivers like Kozlowski 
and uh, Truex. Mm -hmm. He's got 40-plus wins under his belt, too. But of course, we're not saying anything about Kurt Busch. Not much being said. The defending champ of the race a year ago. So uh, Chase Elliott, again, uh, the guy set on the pole a year ago. He figures he's going to be in the mix. He wants to be in the mix. So we'll see. But uh, we'll talk about the Can-Am duels here coming up here in just a few minutes. Kevin's in. We'll be talking Tennessee football here. And that's, uh, I don't know if he was coming or not. And he is. He's here. And that's good. Uh, baseball. Pitchers, catchers. Uh, I, in fact, everybody's in now. They started Monday. I'm sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the rest of them start today. So spring training is here for Major League Baseball, which is a good signal that uh, we're getting ready to get warmer Friday, weather. Other than the hearing awards, <clears throat> the next best words in sports are pitchers, catchers, report. There you go. And they're there. And still got some guys hanging out there that are unsigned. Martinez and Arietta and Mostakis and Hosmer and some big names, these guys. And so... I don't know when the last time you start spring training with those kind of big-name players sitting out there unsigned. They're sitting at home right now. So uh, are the agents well, burning the phones up? Or free agent camp. They're, they're running a free agent camp down in Florida. The media is not allowed in. Mm -hmm. they're, they're just doing this camp away from the cameras, away from – so guys are there. And it's like, you know, the clubs aren't budgeting. They've, they have come to a hard line about what their budget is and what they're willing to go – J.D. Martinez, I think, could still end up. Boston's been trying to move Hanley Ramirez. I think that's been the biggest holdup at the J.D. Martinez. They've got to pay Hanley Ramirez, and they can't afford. They're to the point. They can't afford to keep Hanley Ramirez and pay J.D. Martinez and still stay under the tax. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to move Hanley, and they found no takers. So right now, that's why J.D.'s stuck out there in limbo. Jake Arrieta now, you know he's probably not going back to the Cubs because they got you Darvish. So now does Jake Arrieta look at places maybe like Minnesota, Seattle, possibly, uh, Philadelphia could be Minnesota could be should be a good team this year would be a contender. Philadelphia could be a contender this year in the East. I think Philadelphia's another year away. I think 2019's their year, but they could you know be kind of like Houston was a few years ago, make the first, the next big step and then. You know, the next year, maybe make it on further into the playoffs. Cincinnati not appealing to any of these names at all? No, not unless, no. <laughs> no. No. That was a set-up question. No. No. No, no, no. I mean, it's, right. and you know, for pitcher, it's a, that Cincinnati ballpark is a home, it's a home run. It's, oh, and yeah. And especially on a warm night. Oh, it's yeah. It's like a softball. It's like a slow-pitch softball on, game there. Down there on the river? Yeah. They go out there like mortar shots. It's on warm, now on oh, yeah. nights, it's like where it's windy and kind of cool, the ballpark plays to the pitcher's favor. But when it gets summertime and it warms up, mm -hmm. that place becomes launching pad. That ball jumps. In there. Oh, yeah. Before I let you go, Nat, we got some uh, Parks and Rec to talk about, too. we got the Sweetheart Dance coming up. Uh, the Nashville Predators tonight, 34-12 and 12 on the ice against the Calgary Flames in Nashville. Calgary 29-20. and 20. How do you like this one tonight? Oh, this makes my heart feel. The Predators have played five consecutive overtime games. I mean, how many, and that's what you maybe have to start worrying about now is playing so many overtime games in a row. They played four on the road. They won at the, they won in Brooklyn. I was getting ready to call it the Isle. They're not in, not on Long Island anymore. They won in Brooklyn against the Islanders. Uh, they lost in overtime against Toronto and uh, Ottawa last week. Beat Montreal in a shootout. Then in dramatic fashion, Tuesday night, came from three goals down in the third period against St. Louis, tied the game, get to overtime. Philippe Forsberg draws a penalty and over time makes the penalty shot. Predators win. Tonight, play in Calgary. Johnny Hockey, uh, Johnny Galliano from Calgary. Calgary's one of the contenders in the Western Division this year. Should be a great matchup. We're getting close to the trade deadline. Predators looking to add them. They're getting Mike Fisher back in a week or so, the captain, or the former captain. They're looking to add one more piece, another scoring wing, winger to come on with them. The big talk in Nashville has been Rick Nash. He plays with the New York Rangers, but was a has been an all-star for many years was with Columbus, and now he's with and now he's with the Rangers. That's one rumor that I've heard. Also, possibly James Neal from Las Vegas. Even though Vegas has been doing so well this year in the conference, they also are not losing the fact that they don't want to. This they're exceeding expectations, and James Neal was just a guy they thought when they did got him in the expansion draft from Nashville last year that they would have to the trade deadline and then um, and then make the, and then make the truck and then be able to uh, flip him for some assets so 
his name has been bandied about. I think Nashville will make one more big move sometime before the trade deadline. Talking to our buddy Carmichael before he gets out here with the John City Parks and Rec. Got the Sweetheart Swim. I said the dance, the swim. Yeah, Coming up, that would be tomorrow. Tomorrow night, 7 to 8.45. It's $5 for couples or singles. Uh, all there will be music going on inside the swimming pool. Uh, should be a, a good time. We talked about it a little bit in our staff meeting on Tuesday. So it's from 7 to 8.45. For more information, you can call 434-5755. Also, um, soccer registration is still going on at Winger Park for the athletic division. Uh, registration goes on until February 25th. It's $25 if you're a city resident, $30 if you're a non-city resident. If you don't register by the 25th, then everything goes up $20 on Monday the 26th. Uh, for more information, you can call us at the office, 283-5822 or www.myjcparks.org. One last thing, if you're a senior in the area and you're a Buck fan, you've got two uh, different promotions that, that, John C., that the Senior Services is doing. The first one is on Tuesday night, the 20th. They have got a limited number of tickets for $5 for, at Freedom Hall for the Bucks home game. The catch is you have to go by, you have to travel with it. They take a bus from, the, mm-hmm. from Memorial Park go up there you need to register with the senior services be a senior of course and then you have to ride from memorial park up to but you know still hey you don't have to worry about parking you come nope. down to memorial park park your car uh pay five bucks to get a ticket to the etsu game go watch some good basketball they are also have limited number of tickets for the first round of the southern conference tournament in Asheville. uh they can give you the information down at memorial park 434-5749 give to the senior services uh, you would have to register with the seniors, but they pick you up or you drop drop your car off. They'll take a bus over to Asheville, watch the game. you got a reserve seat. Take a bus back. I mean, you can't beat that with no, a stick. No, big stick. Yes. There you go. Who's your favorite? Ten seconds left. Who's going to win the Daytona 500? <clears throat> uh, Chase Elliott. Joey Logano. Oh, Chase Elliott. Not the cheese head. Not the cheese. Not uh, the cheesecake guy. Cheesecake guy. You got Chase Elliott winning the Daytona the biggest, 500. The biggest race. I think it's. I, this could be a Chase Elliott year. Yeah, it'd be good for NASCAR if it is. Oh, it would be. Because he's already the it most would, popular driver. It so would be if, if, if he, he wins, wins that, they'd have probably have a parade in his honor. NASCAR needs for him to win, driving that Chevrolet around. So we'll see. Good job as always. Thanks, sir. Quick break. We'll be right back. We've got him in the house. We'll go from a plethora of sports to what's going on down in big orange country, Tennessee football, Tennessee basketball, heck of a year for Rick Barnes we've talked about, and we'll see what he thinks about the Lady Vols. Our buddy Kevin Harmon with our weekly UT Sports Update next here on show number 689 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City is starting off 2018 with monster savings on over 350 new Chevrolets to choose from. Take advantage of these awesome savings for a limited time only. Silverado Crew and Double Caps, 10,000 off MSRP, 17 Spark, 11,995, 18 Equinox, 19,995, 17 Traverse, 28,995, 17 Corvette, 20% off MSRP. Shop us online 24-7 and don't forget our Saturday parts and service hours. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? The savings continue the month of February at Max Meta Smart in Kingsport. All natural factors, 20% off. Folic acid, CoQ10, apple cider vinegar capsules, B12, they're all on sale. Anything natural factors, all 20% off the month of February at Max Meta Smart. No coupons, no limits. It's a flat 20% off anytime you buy natural factors in February at Max Meta Smart. Max Meta Smart, Center Street, Kingsport. Natural factors, 20% off in February. Make tracks to Max Medicine Mart. 
At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at FCA.org. I'm the Tom Lewis Sports Show, ready to go. He's here, and we're ready to have him here with us. Again, our buddy Kevin Harmon right there again with the UT Sports Update. Good afternoon, sir. How you doing? Doing great, Tom. Yes, thank you for coming by here. And we got a bunch we... of days in the 60s coming up. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah we got, we got, wait a minute, let's get you, you're leaning, lean, there you go, lean that way. Well, i got to fix this yeah, so we don't. It's Valentine's Day. I can get close to you. Well, it was yesterday, but <laughs> and let's don't go crazy. So Andy does it all the time. He likes to get close and and so. And he's just, going in the beard, man. He looks pretty good. Looking there, good. Andy. Yeah. Stop it! Don't <laughs> listen to what Andy Dietrich says. <laughs> all right, Robert Gillespie out as our balls running by coach in football. What is going on? He's the last holdover from the Butch Jones staff. What's going on with this? Is this well, a good move? What do you think? Is it a good move? Uh, you know, as far was it a needed move, maybe? Well, I don't know about it. You know, I think the, the running backs that we lost may have foretold this. You know, we lost the uh, – oh, I forget their names now. The Kelly? Kelly, yeah. We lost him, of course. Well, he, he quit going to class. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's not much coach you can do about that. Heard. Yeah, well, of course, we lost Hurd. That was uh, – I think Butch Jones kind of messed that up with his mismanagement of the roster. You know, we had Kamara, and, you know, but I think what happened is the recruits flipped from us. And, but I don't I don't know. But, you know, the, the consensus is that Gillespie was the best coach on Butch Jones' staff. Um, you know, we had all kind of different runners, and each one of them were very productive with not a very good offensive line. Um so the the fan base, you know, from what they could see, really loved what Gillespie did. Mm. And it was a shock when I read it that he was going to be let go. But then again, you go back to what the, the coach, you know, who wants to bring in the guys that he's comfortable with, he knows with. There's these rumors of Robert Gillespie didn't mesh well with the new staff. And, you know, when the salaries came out, these guys made a whole lot more. That could have had something to do with it. Um, but they're big shoes to fill. And, you know, you hear Jay Graham's name, Ontario Hardesty, Chris Winkie. You know, I don't know. But they're big shoes to fill. I mean, because he did a good job. I mean, our running backs were very good. Um, you know, everybody talks about Jalen Hurd this, Jalen Hurd. Jalen Hurd wasn't a bad running back. He got 1,200 yards his freshman year. Um, so, you know, Gillespie on the surface did a very good job. Now, I don't know what happened behind the scenes and, you know, why he didn't mesh, or maybe he fell out of place, or these are Pruitt's guys. But, you know, there's a lot of angst right now. But, you know, he's the head coach, you know, and if that's what he wants to do, if that's what he thinks he well, has sure. to do to put his team forward. It's his team. I mean, you know, we, we, we sideline guys and quarter, you know, armchair quarterbacks. I mean, exactly. we don't know what's going We don't know. And, you know, and I know, you know, you know from working in business and, and whatever, you, you want to have people that you know and you trust and you've been there with and, you don't have to redevelop that relation, redevelop or develop a relationship while you're trying to coach. You kind of know what these guys are all about and what they're doing. And Pruitt and Gillespie had never coached before. And I'm sure Gillespie's going to get picked up by somebody. If I get picked up by Florida, that's where he went to school. And um, he'll do a good job. He'll do a good job there. We'll have to face him. We'll have to face his running back. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's a little questioning, but, you know, he's the head coach and we got to sure. trust him. we got to believe in him. And, 
He's a no-nonsense guy. He's gotten rid of the gray jerseys. He's gotten rid of this, you know, there's not going to be any third down songs. There's not going to be any stuff. I mean, We're going to play football. There you go. You know, We're going to line up and go. Said the reason they got hurt so much is that probably because Tennessee's little or small. So these big guys are hurting them. And, you know, they didn't know how to practice well. I mean, he's not, you know, he hasn't come out and sugarcoated it and everything. And he's, he's just a straightforward, no-nonsense competitive football coach. And he's got the resume to back it up. And he's got the resume to there back you go. it up. And he has the other coaches in the SEC that have come out and said, you know, if anybody can turn this thing around, he can. Oh, yeah. And uh, so Provided the I'm Tennessee okay. fans, I mean, if that's what let him do it. Do, I mean, he's the coach, and they're paying sure. him a lot of money. And, yeah. You know, and if he falters, he falters. But, you know, it's, it's, his, it's on his dime. Got you. So, there we go. Talking to Kevin Arm, we are live here again at Champion Chevrolet. Again, we uh, checking out the. In fact, I pulled the schedule because I knew Kev was coming, or hope he was coming. So, uh, schedule looks like this, and we'll get into uh, probably the nuts and bolts of the schedule maybe next yeah, week. Just, just announce it today, yeah. yeah, just for FYI, they open up with West Virginia in Charlotte on September the first. East Tennessee State, the Bucks will be in Knoxville on September the eighth. That's a curious game. There you go. Oh, they would play ETSU in Knoxville. UTEP, September the 15th in Knoxville. Then Florida comes to town, the SEC opener. The uh, Gators are rolling there on September the 22nd. Then you go to the national runner-up, the Georgia Bulldogs, on September the 29th. First uh, first Saturday in October is a bye week. And then whew, you go to Auburn, Alabama, and Knoxville, then to a much-improved South Carolina team. Then in November, you've got three of the four at home, Charlotte, UNC Charlotte, or Charlotte now they call it, the 49ers, Charlotte, Kentucky, Missouri, then wrap things up Thanksgiving weekend at Vanderbilt. So orange and white game, by the way, coming up on April the 21st. And so if you had to grade, the dust has settled now for both recruiting periods, the early one in December and the one we just had a week or so ago, I guess last week. So if you had to grade out A, B, C, or D, how did Pruitt do in his initial recruiting season, given the fact, as I keep telling people, well, I said, oh, wait a minute, let's put an asterisk there. For about four or five weeks after the season, he's an Alabama uh, defensive coordinator during the day and a Tennessee out-recruiting coach at night. So he was out there with one hand really tied behind his back. So having said that, great out what he did. I'd say a B minus. Okay. You know, it could have been better. It could have been worse. Uh, we lost the we lost the linebacker and, and a running back and a wide receiver the last day. You get those guys to come on board, it's probably a B B plus. Uh, didn't get the quarterback he wanted. You know, we don't. We you know we're kind of thin the quarterback. We didn't get the line, some offensive linemen. So, but then again, you know, he, you know, you develop relationships with these kids. And, you know, then they get with a relationship going with the coach in the school. You know, when you pull him out and you put him in another school, then all of a sudden things change. And you know, I may have been interested in Alabama and Pruitt, but once Pruitt leaves, I'm still interested in Alabama, and that's kind of what happened. And we lost a Smith kid back to Alabama. And, you know, so, you know, but he's already signed. He's already committed the, the number one recruit in the state for 2019 in, in Lampley, the offensive lineman. He's a top 80 player. So he's already he started 2019 off with a bang. And this kid's an outgoing kid. He's going to recruit for Tennessee, like, kind of like Alante Taylor did, who, who evidently is really showing it out right now. You know, we watched him with Science Hill mm-hmm. uh, in Coffee County. So, you know, I think that. You know, I mean, his track record is just too good. I just don't see him faltering because he will sell the program and sell himself, and other coaches have sold him. Uh, I believe Tennessee will come back. I mean, this may be a tough year. I mean, Florida's going to be ranked when we play him. So that's five teams in a row we're going to play ranked, plus West Virginia. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be a tough year. It's going to be a tough year. You know, Going to Auburn is going to be very, very tough. West Virginia, I can tell, talking to the folks back up home, they are loaded. They got yeah. Greer back and several guys that they thought were going to turn pros and they're never going to come back for this final run. So they've got a lot of horses in the barn. Yeah, so they're going to be tough. Right out of the chute, West Virginia playing them in Charlotte. So the Mountaineers and the and the Volunteers will get together then now, again that, on that September the 1st. That should, I mean, we're very close to West Virginia. I mean, that, that's, that's a pretty cool game. I mean, yeah. I'm glad we see we got that. Talking to Kevin Armour, talking Tennessee sports update, the men's basketball team. I know the bracketology folks came out earlier in the week and said if we stop today, Tennessee would be a number four seed in the South Regional. So Rick Barnes got them playing pretty good basketball. They laid an egg down in Alabama, but for all intents and purposes, they've had a banner year exceeded last year's 16-16 and 16 season already. So he's got them playing pretty well. Oh, no, no question. You know, and, and you know, they – and they're – they're, you know, when they get in front of the camera, Kyle Alexander, uh, uh, 
Williams, um, all those guys, uh, Schofield, especially Adam Schofield. I mean, those guys are polished and poised and um, just the guys that you kind of want representing your university, and they play basketball very hard. Um, yeah, we got smoked Alabama. <laughs> and I think Alabama would be feeling over that day. But, you know, but then again, the way we played had something to do with it, and the way they played had something to do with the way we played. I mean, it was a very tough, but – yeah, we, we're going in the right direction. If he can add the Simmons kid, uh, which I think he will if he doesn't go pro, because I think the kid really likes Rick Barnes. I think what you're going to see now is that, you know, he has convinced people he knows how to coach, and he will coach you. And if you want to come and you want to go to the NBA and you're, you're you know, yeah, you can go to Duke and get the high profile, but if you want to be coached, you know, Duke doesn't play defense. I mean, you watch him. You know, they got, you know, the Bagley kids is a, is a – all by himself, but you know, they got to play defense to play in the NBA. I mean, I mean, all these stars is great, but they play defense, and um, so I think Barnes teaches you to play defense, and that's what I think a lot of these kids will start to see that now and say, hey, if I want to get to the league, you know, I need a coach who will coach me. You know, there's Coach Kevin Durant, TJ Ford, and these big guys, uh, and I think it bodes well for Tennessee because, man, we're tough. I mean, South Carolina was a tough game. Um, Tennessee hung tough. I mean, did you see that? I mean, that you know, you know, everybody in the stadium, everybody in the state, everybody in South Carolina knew when we called timeout, 10, 12 seconds left, we're going to Grant Williams. <laughs> and he just, you know, double team went over him and just nailed it. Money man answered um, it. Just, you know, just that's the kind of basketball they're playing. That's just, it's just fun to watch. And, um, <clears> you know, the, and I just, the Mississippi State game is going to be tough. So, um, but. I think we'll, we may make the rest of the year with one loss, maybe two. As far as Rick Barnes, I mean, the folks, it's like, guys, go back and look. He's the all-time winningest coach of Texas. I mean, this guy's got a – I mean, that's pretty strong basketball country. It's not a football country, I don't guess, per se. But when you when you coach T.J. Ford and Kevin Durant, some of these guys he's turned out, I mean, Rick Barnes knows what he's doing. It's now starting to come to fruition. So I've always been a fan of Barnes. I'm not a big fan of Holly Warlick, but I'm fans of Rick Barnes and – and I think that uh, he's got this program turned around. And yeah, as you said, if he can get the Simmons kid, that's going to be a really big plum or a feather in his cap. So hopefully he won't go pro and he'll come to play at Tennessee. Yeah. Lady Vols. Well, I'm going to go back to Barnes. Just one thing. I, you know, he, he didn't finish well at Texas. And I think he got a little stale. I think he got, you know, you can you can stay too long in one spot. And I think it, coming to UT sort of rejuvenated him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, you know, when you start a new job and there's new new challenge on the horizon there, you know, you do get rejuvenated. But lady, going to Lady Balls, I think now we've, <laughs> we've hit our our wall, so to speak. Well, you can I mean, hear I his whole voice changes. I yeah. just don't get it. And, his uh, whole voice changes talking about Lady Balls. It's, it's just, I mean, you know, we got hammered by Mississippi State. And I don't, I mean, I know Mercedes Russell's a good player, but uh, – you know, by the time Tennessee gets in her offense and gets a shot off, she's finished. she's now back down court at the foul line. And, I, you know, just, you know, it's it, women's basketball has got a problem now, I think, with you got UConn and then everybody else. Mm-hmm. And there is a gap between UConn and everybody else. Mm-hmm. You know, when, when you got, I mean, Mississippi State, yeah, they, they look pretty good and they're going to be tough and probably second best team in the country right now. But there's a gap between them and UConn. I mean, I think UConn probably got a little bit stargazed and 100 wins in a row and all this stuff. And, you know, Mississippi State played a good game and caught up with it, caught up with UConn. But I think UConn's going to take that loss and just blow through everybody. They won the game the other night, what, 80 points? <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. I mean, how do you tell your players not to score? I mean, you're up 81 points. Exactly. But uh, there needs to be some kind of rule. But whatever, I mean, it's a UConn rule. But good grief. Um so that college, and I'm losing interest in women's basketball. You know, I used to watch it all the time, but it's just, just, you know, Tennessee can't compete at that level, and they should be able to. Um, but we just can't, we can't get them there. We got another good recruiting class coming in, so you know, it's obvious that those three have really rejuvenated that program. But now I wonder if the, our coaching has caught up with us, and we're just hitting that wall. And, we're not, not looking, looking very good. good. We had, you know, we, we beat, beat Georgia, Georgia, but we had 27 turnovers. 15 were forced. I mean, that's just horrible. It's a horrible mm-hmm. way to. Uh, tells, you tells you how bad, bad the competition, competition is. is. And you know, we, we should. should I just can't get over 27 turnovers. turnovers. I mean, that's, 
I mean, you get 70 possessions a game, and 27, you turn them over. That's giving a team 27 extra chances mm -hmm, to, to score. score. Yep. Oh, yeah. You know, so it's just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I don't know. Other than that, they're doing pretty good. Got Andy Dietrich coming up here in just a few minutes to wrap up the show. Let's go real quick and talk about Lady Vols softball. What's yeah, going on there? Yeah, about that. 6-0 oh with the walk-off double. They had a bases loaded double that uh, Lockman hit uh, against um, Utah, nationally ranked Utah, down 5 nothing, I believe. They came back and won 6-5. You know. Tennessee has what they call a program, and it's run by them, uh, a guy who used to be a Marine, and he puts them through this intensive workouts during the offseason. And, Karen Wick has come out and said, you know, that program sort of tells them who their leaders are and where their weaknesses are because it's so intense, so pressure-filled that, you know, the, the, the girls that will lead that team bubble to the top. And Lockman was one of those. Mm -hmm. You know, she hit that big uh, double to beat Utah. You know, and it was a very exciting game. You know, so now they're at Oklahoma State today. There's a big tournament in Florida this weekend that they're at. And, uh, you know, I think their first home game is March 2nd, March somewhere in that area. You know, 50 bucks for the season tickets to watch them play. It's, it's, it's the best ticket in sports, I'm telling you. That's a fun place to go watch a foot basketball or a softball game on, a, on the far side of campus. Uh, they fill it up. There's a lot of energy in that stadium, and they play high-quality, elite softball. And it's a different, a different game, game than baseball. It's much, much faster. It's not as boring. And and the girls are athletic. And it's a, it's, it's a lot of fun to watch. And, and they take it serious. And it's just, you know, I don't know how you can't be a fan. Of course, I am. Just, you know, coaching Megan and, and, and you know, and, and umpiring the game. So it's, you know, but I just love, we got a good team. They're going to win a national championship. It could happen this year. But, um, you know, the lady softball, the Lady Vols are, are a team to watch. And, uh, you know, Alex Krieger from Science Hill is doing very well in uh, cross country at UT on track. Um, so, you know, a lot of local flavor going up there, doing, some, doing a good job. Come back next week, brother. Come back Should anytime. Be able to make it, yeah. <clears throat> yep. Good job. How much weight you lost? 30 pounds now. Looking good. Yeah, I feel great. I feel great. I mean, yoga is, you know, I'm going to push downtown yoga and Kim Blaine's. You know, but all the teachers and everything they have. I mean, I can't even. I didn't go there to lose weight. I went there to sort of stretch me out, help me be a better umpire as far as physical shape. And uh, it's just, I can't even begin to tell you how it's changed my whole body, my whole life. I mean, and my whole life. But I mean, it's really, you know, it's just a different community, and it's it's uh, it's, it's you know, I'm, I'm doing three classes today. I just got from one, so that's why I'm all dressed the way I am. Uh, you know, and I think I pulled a muscle too, so I got it. You know, I'm 60. I'm, I'm pushing myself like I'm 20, but I can't do that. But uh, feel great. I feel great. Go. Looking good. Feel great. Looking good. Kevin Harmon again. UT Sports Update. See you next week, Bubba. Hi, man. Quick break. We'll be right back. Andy Dietrich wraps up the show here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's, it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems it used to be fairly simple. Now, some of the newer vehicles, you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import and Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best and broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. 
It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see, any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. We're back with the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Thanks for being with us. We've got a few more minutes left here before we round this thing, wrap this thing up. Let's run down one more time what's going on again in basketball today. First off, we'll take you into, let's see, let's take you into Southwest Virginia, and that will be coming up in the Southwest District Tournament tonight. Virginia, nope, I'm sorry, in the Hogahigi District Tournament tonight. Patrick Henry and Holston at 7:15, and then you want to get there early for this one, I can tell you. It'll be, as we said, the Gate City Blue Devils will be with their outstanding player, and you know who he is, McClung, who's going on to Georgetown. So this kid and this team has been selling out crowds everywhere they go, and so uh, they've got a double dip tonight. Central, Y Central and Union at 6 o'clock in Gate City Middle School, and then Gate City and Abington will be at 7.30 tonight. So that'll be the Mountain 7 District Tournament <clears throat> at Gate City Middle School for the gentlemen. Then on the Boys' side, or rather girls' side of things tonight, the District 1 AA Tournament in Elizabethan tonight, third-ranked or third-seeded Unicoi County at 18-8, and eight, takes on the number six seed, the Lady Longhorns of Johnson County at 6-19. and 19. They'll play that one at 6 o'clock tonight. Then in the second game, the nightcap, the host team, the Lady Cyclones of Elizabethan, number five seed at 9-18, and 18, hosting Sullivan East, number four seed at 14-17. and 17. That's a 7.30 tip tonight. That'll be going on again, both those at John Treadway Gymnasium at Elizabethan. And then also tonight, the Southwest District Tournament at Virginia High. The Lady Bearcats at Virginia High taking on Marion <clears throat> at 6 o'clock tonight. And so that's what's going on there for the uh, high school basketball. Of course, everything else tomorrow night. We'll tell you all about that tomorrow at Food City and Boone's Creek. we got a full slate tomorrow all across the area, both Tennessee and Virginia boys and girls coming up tomorrow night. And so we'll let that set till tomorrow evening because we want to get him in here right now before time runs I'm away. Here the whole time. What are you talking about? I know. Well, that's true. Uh, I just I just didn't hit the buttons quick enough. Andy Dietrich's in the house, ladies and gentlemen. So right here, Bradley Purdy. Bradley Purdy says me and Andy were in high school together from elementary to high school, and he's a great guy. And he is in Cleveland, Texas, which is 38 miles northeast of Houston on 59 Freeway. Bradley, your checks in the mail for saying those nice things about. There you go. Well, he's. He just knows you like we all know. You're just a good guy. So that's it. Well, that's what Haley said. So we're going to Taylor Swift in August, 16 rows back at the Bridgestone Arena in Nashville to see Taylor Swift. Yeah. I mean, she was she's like, like about, about to rip, rip that, that wallet out of my pocket, pocket, pocket when I walked mm-hmm. in the door. Well, hey, how, how, how's your day? <laughs> Give me your wallet. <laughs> Give me your credit card. Now we have a time frame. We have to book these. There you go. Can you get her in here next week? I'd love to get an update and a follow up on the trip to Disney with her and the kids. 
Is that possible? Yeah, I'd, I'd say, say so. so. Yeah. yeah, they're back, obviously. Yeah, she's back. So, yeah. yeah, Betsy got to go too, didn't she? Betsy from the Speedway win. Oh, love Betsy Holloman. Her and JT, they're great peeps. JT was in here the other day. Yeah. He's in seminary. Yes, he is. Yeah. 4.0, his first semester of seminary. Also, being a police officer, it's pretty tough to do, but he did it and did it well. Full so. Time and two small kids. And yep. Wife and. Yep. He said he sometimes has to stay until they close the library down, and then he has to move to Starbucks to do his studying. And but he gets it done. He gets it done. He's a champion. He was a nice segue. He was a police officer at uh, my kid's school for a number of years. They moved him to another elementary school in John City, but he, uh, the kids absolutely adore him, and he's awesome with them. And I, I, we've got a good police officer now, but we do miss him. Oh, yeah. He's a great guy, SRO officer for some of the schools here in Johnson City, J.T. Holloman Class Act. All right, we've got just a few minutes left here. We want to run down through here. We've got Equinox on sale, 18s. We've got Traverses. Tell me the selling point, $6,000 off MSRP. What is a selling point on a 2017 Chevrolet Traverse? If you don't want a Tahoe because you think it's too big, you mm -hmm. feel um, that it's too big for you to drive on the road, versus what's for you because it's considered a crossover. It's lower to the ground. Um, it still has the capacity, though, to have three. It has three rows of seats in it, like the Tahoe. But it's easier to step in and out of, easier to get kids in and out of, and you don't feel like you're just the king of the road. Mm -hmm. Which it's, and it's, uh, you know, the ride's a little bit better than the Tahoe because it is a little bit lower to the ground. The tires aren't as aggressive um, as a Tahoe. Um, but most people don't realize, though, the Traverse is the exact same length as the Tahoe. It's just not as tall, and the it's lower to the ground, so you don't realize the two parts are side by side. $6,000 off MSRP on the 17s. What few they've got here are on the yeah, lot? The ones that we have left, the 18s yep. are here, but we've got a few 17s left. Um, $6,000 off any of the 17s that are left. Got to move them. Got to move them. Yeah. And, you know, you, you were talking earlier, you, you need a good family car. That would be the 2017 Corvette. Throw all your kids in, <laughs> get them to ball practice in the time. Yeah, absolutely. Plenty of space in there for several kids in the back seat. Corvette is a yeah. good car if, if it's just you and your significant other. Mm -hmm. And maybe your kids have gone off to college and you don't have kids. Mm -hmm. and you just need a car to a date night or go away on a trip or something like that. It, it's, or it's a lot of people, if they do have kids, it's their third or fourth car. Mm -hmm. So. We've got one right here. Let's go ahead and I want to try and capture this real quick in the showroom and tell us about this puppy. That's a good looking ride that right is there. Z06 650 horsepower mm -hmm. uh, beast. Um, it is loaded leather, heated seats, navigation. Uh, the top does come off of it like a target top or like a T top there over the front two windows, side windows there. That, that whole piece lifts off and you can sit in the trunk or set it in your driveway. Mm -hmm. That's easily a two-person deal. And uh, it looks like you've got drilled out rotors on it because it, where you have to, where it can get so fast and if you need to brake quick, it'll heat up a rotor. So they drill holes in a rotor, like on race cars, to have them cool quicker. So that's, that's why those holes are in the rotors. And then also you can get different colored brake calipers. And this one here just has red. Mm -hmm. You can get, I think, blue, white, and black um, you, when you order a Corvette. Behind it is a red? Red Z06. Z06. It has a little bit different spoiler. Uh, the, one, the red one has a, it's more of a raised up spoiler than the, on this silver one. But they're both same engine, uh, same underpinnings, just a little bit different styling. Things that are a little bit different on it. And the third one over there is a kind of gray a... Z06. Yes. It's more like the red one. So Charcoal spoiler, gray? Yes. Yep. Those are three of those. I thought I'd put those on the screen while we're talking to our buddy Andy Diedrich before we get Plus out of here. Plus shot of Tim over there too. So yeah. There you go. We got uh, there. Here's what we got to do. We got to fix this next week. I'm going to put the camera. going to start putting it out here because Cletus built this great big wide, but we always end up getting Chris's office. So we want to get. I want to get. Well, you're on there okay now. It looks nice. Yeah. I like that American flag and all that. So, so selling points. You got Sparks for ten nine ninety five. What's the selling points of a Spark? A Spark is a good vehicle for a high school or college student or. Um, if your job requirements are that you just need to drive around in the city, uh, gets over 30 miles per gallon, it's compact, it's easy to get in and out of, easy to park, especially if you're living in the city and you know, if you've got a parallel park a lot or parking places are a lot smaller because they're limited, this is, that's a car for you. 
Mm-hmm. Just a compact, compact, smallest car we have. There you go. Those are on sale. Ten nine ninety five. What you have left? Traverses, six thousand dollars off MSRP. What you have left in the lot for those? The Corvettes are twenty percent off. Must have Chevy loyalties. You must already have a Chevy in your garage or wherever in your uh, as or part of. Someone living in your household has a registration yeah. or name. You can transfer it inside the household. There you go. 2017 Corvettes, 20% off. And then the trucks, they sell a ton of trucks here. 17 Silverado, 1,500 crew, and double cabs. Are 12 grand. Holy smokes. Is, you must finance with GM Financial. So looking back into January, we had all that cold weather. Did, it, did that prompt folks come in here? Was this a truck? Yes, it was, a, it was very much a uh, truck month, four-wheel drive, where the main selling point. You know, with this 60-degree weather, 70-degree weather we're going to have next week, other than the rain, I think people are going to start getting spring fever. Mm-hmm. So I've already heard somebody say last night they've got some flowers that are popping up. Oh, I do. And, uh, I've got tulips in the yard gosh, popping up. Gosh, if we have a cold snap or a, um, a bad snow, so we're going to have a, what do they call it, a blackberry winter or something? I don't know. It's going to be a cold winter. Cold winter. Here we go. Here I'm looking at the extended forecast. Tomorrow, 59. Saturday, 47. Then Sunday, your high 62 here in the Tri City. 67 on Monday. 73 on Tuesday. 70 on Wednesday. 64 on Thursday. 67 next Friday, and 64 next I'll Saturday. So tank top to work next Tuesday. I think you ought to just do that. Yeah, I think you ought to. Flip flops in my tank top. Because you're ripped and buffed, and I yes. think you should. Yes. Yes. And. Uh, just sit up there at the sales desk all day and just say hello to everybody. There you go. In your maybe a tank top and some shorts. No, I may wear I may wear dress pants, but wear flip flops, dress pants, tank top, tank maybe top. a visor, and sunglasses. Maybe visor. Think in spring. And, I, and I'm gonna really think I'm gonna set a bottle of suntan lotion there in case it gets too sunny. And I don't want to get burned. Cause I, I would. Redhead. Blue lizard, maybe. Blue That's lizard one of our spots. Is my sunscreen of choice. There you go. Thank you. Good stuff. You guys are open. <laughs> Perfect. You guys are open, and ladies, six days a week. You have Saturday parts and service hours yep, online on Saturdays. Parts are open until five, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturdays and uh, 7.30 a.m. till 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, parts and service. Who is your choice to win in closing here the Daytona 500? Who would you like to see win the race come Sunday? Gosh. Somebody in the Chevy, obviously. Dick Dick Trickle. Ho! Oh, I got two of our customers in here giggling, so as it should have. Uh, old Dick Trickle. Okay. I don't know. I, I... Should I get the list out? Chase there you Elliott, go. There you go. Driving a Chevrolet. Jay's Elliott. You know, I always pick, I always pick Dale Earnhardt Jr., but he's gone. Yes. Yeah. Jeff Gordon. Yes. Gone. Yes. So let me run that down before we leave because we need to get that. The Can-Am duels are tonight. It will decide the rest of the Daytona 500 field. A Chevrolet sets on the front row on the pole. The 88 Hendrick Motorsports Chevrolet, the new Camaro ZL1. Have you seen that? It's a good-looking ride. Nice-looking ride. Oh, yeah, Alex Bowman on the pole along with uh, uh, Denny Hamlin on the front row. So here's who's running duel one, Alex Bowman. Jimmy Johnson, William Byron, those Chevrolets, one, two, and three. Daniel Suarez, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. He's kind of sad because Danica dumped him. She's with Alex Rogers now, though. No, the Packers quarterback. Mm-hmm. So, by the look on her face, Ricky's been replaced. Joey Logano, Eric Amarola, Ryan Blaney, the defending champ, Kurt Busch, Brad Kozlowski, Ryan Newman, Jamie McMurray, uh, also in a Chevy, Bubba Wallace, Ty Dillon, Chris Busher, Brendan Gaughan, Justin Marks, Jeffrey Earnhardt, David Gillian and Gray Galding in that first duel tonight. It is a 60-lap event and 100, what, 150 miles, I believe it is. Uh, that will be going on tonight for the Can-Am duels. Make sure I get that right. Yep, two 60-lap, 150-mile races. Out of fairness in duel lineup number two, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, Eric Jones, Kevin Harvick, Chase Elliott, there's your Chevy, Paul Menard, Austin Dillon, Clint Boyer, Casey Kane, Trevor Bain out of Knoxville, Kyle Larson, Michael McDowd, defending points champion Michael, uh, or Martin Tricks Jr., rather, uh, Danica Patrick, A.J. Allmendinger, Matt DiBenedetto, D.J. Kennington, Mark Thompson, Corey LaJoy, whoo, and David Reagan. There's a bunch Danica's, of them. Is this her last year? It is, okay. yeah. 
Yep, she's, uh, here's what I want to find out before we go here. Let's see how many we've got here that are Chevys. we got Jeffrey Earnhardt, Jamie McMurray, Austin Dillon, Danica Patrick, Chase Elliott, Ty Dillon, all driving a bow tie. William Byron, Ryan Newman, Chris Busher, Kyle Larson, Daryl Wallace Jr., A.J. Allmendinger, Jimmy Johnson, Justin Marks, Brendan Gaughan, Corey LaJoy, Alex Bowman, and turn to the last page, Casey Kane, all driving Chevrolets. Pretty good chance one of those guys will win that race, driving in bow ties. Yep. You pretty win on Sunday, sell on Monday. <laughs> That's a good way to close it. Yep. You here next week? Yes, sir. Went on. Get here. Yes, get her and talk about the trip. Yes. Went on Sunday and sell on Monday. There you go. She that will do it. Throw me on the bus for Christmas presents no, well, Valentine's yesterday too. So, did, do we have it? I don't. That's a no. We ain't got time. I, she got was, flowers. There you go. That's all. And you got candy or something? I got a card. There you go. Flowers and cards. Whoo! All right, my friend. We're gone. Peace out. Peace out. We're done. We appreciate the chance coming by Champion Chevrolet again. Thanks to our guest, Chuck Babb, coach of Happy Valley High School. Again, a big upset last night. Uh, he, hadn't, he had never beaten John Dyer and Solomon East. That's pretty incredible, ever. And so he beats him last night and puts him out of the tournament. This is the team that went to the state tournament a year ago. Also, Carmichael stopped by. Kevin Harmon talking Tennessee sports stopped by. And, of course, co-owner Andy Dietrich in the house as well. We're out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours. And we will rejoin you coming up tomorrow again with the big throwback sale. We'll be right down the road at Food City in Boone's Creek on a Food City Friday. Looking forward to being there, hanging out with Gary and, and all the folks are there at Food City in Boone's Creek tomorrow on a Food City Friday. Until then, of course, we'll have Mike Hedrick ready to go tomorrow, the big report from Daytona getting ready for the big running, and we'll have the aftermath of tonight's Can-Am duels at Daytona to have the complete field set for the Daytona 500. We already have the front row in Alex Bowman and Denny Hamlin. We'll have the complete field set and ready to go after tonight's racing and that and plus baseball news tomorrow i'm sure college basketball big weekend and the conference tournament or i should say conference regular season heading off to the respective tournaments so it's going to be a big weekend in sports we'll tell you all about it tomorrow again like and share the show we'd appreciate that very much and so for andy dietrich and kevin Harmon and carmichael and chuck babb this is tom taylor wrapping up show number 689 from champion chevrolet but simply telling you as always win or lose be a good sport. Like us and share us, and thank you so very much for watching.